You're watching A to Z episode 95. Today's guests are Evan and Paul with the Gulf Coast Spirit Society. It's like they're trying to be too meta. We're going to make them an offer they can't refuse. Much better. Yeah. You can, you can, can I buy you a drink? You can't but, just well, well, I mean, he did pick out somebody we know. Well, you sidestepped the question. That you technology does not exist. Hey, everybody. I'm Zach. I'm here with my co-host, Aaron. Hey, guys. Welcome to A to Z Podcast, where we sit down with the folks that make Southeast Texas a better place to live. Yeah, and if you're new here, thanks for checking us out. We are available on all major podcast platforms, and new episodes are out weekly. You can mm-hmm. also check us out on Facebook and Instagram, where we post updates, clips, a host of extra content, memes, all the good stuff. Yeah, and you can also call in Texas at 409-206-2971. It's on the bottom of your screen, 409-206-2971. We get a lot of weird stuff coming like through Mike there. Like Mike Jones, man. The most recent one that we had, let me play it for you, Aaron. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, we got a mysterious voicemail from, I think, Skeeter Jones. Somebody called Skeeter Jones. Hi, uh, <clears throat> hey, y'all, this is Skeeter Jones. Um... So, <laughs> round two. <laughs> what? He ain't gonna get impeached. Okay. Uh, All right. I guess that that was it, huh? Uh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for calling yeah. in, Skeeter. Thanks, Skeeter. Uh, appreciate you. Uh, Trump. Yeah, man. We're not the most political podcast, but we appreciate you uh, leaving a voicemail. That's yeah. pretty. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so see, uh, like like Zach said, if you call and leave us a voicemail, we'll play whatever the heck you you please, for the most part. So, please do. We don't uh, even expect it's, anything. Just it's fun. Have fun with it. Yeah, but uh, on to the episode though. Today we are with uh, Paul and Evan uh-huh. of the Gulf Coast Spirit Society. It's it's a Facebook uh, bourbon kind of focus group, but it's about all spirits. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> We've done a few episodes with them before. Yeah, this will be our third. Yeah. This is going to be our third. This is different. The first one we did with bourbon. The second we did with scotch, mm-hmm. and this one is more about like. Uh, value like what's a dollar worth what does it mean to you we're because, technically doing kind of like a premium versus well but we're also kind of doing yeah. it in the spirit of uh, this kind is, of a christmas thing well this is going to be yeah. coming out before christmas so it's like if you're looking for some ideas last minute gift ideas for some people in your family maybe people that like whiskey yeah we uh, took we took the episode there we were talking mm-hmm. about its value as a gift like what you how you would be received if you did give this as a gift and yeah. then we did it in three parts so it is a little bit longer mm-hmm. than the usual episode if if you're into it, I'm, that's great. If you're not, uh, you can skip ahead. You can mm-hmm. pick which uh, which section you want. Mm-hmm. The first section, obviously, are like wells uh, and and the calls. And mm-hmm. then the second is like calls, and we start getting to the premiums. The third section is is like our ranking. It's kind of— We kind of turn it into a tier yeah, list. Yeah, at, at the very end we did, we turned it into a tier list where we ranked all of the ones we've done, mm. S through F, mm-hmm. right? Just check out any of our tier list videos we've done in the past. Got to uh, get an idea for what we're doing. Yeah, there. exactly. Yeah. And you'll know exactly what's going on. But So, yeah, yeah enjoy this one. Uh, it's going to be a fun one. It's kind of a romp. We basically take a we sip. We get drunk. We take a sip of at least 12 different whiskeys. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not embarrassed. Like, we get heavily tipsy at least. So I, yeah. I didn't really get drunk, but we got pretty dang tipsy. Yeah, so enjoy this episode with Evan and Paul of the Gulf Coast Spirit Society. The EH sale. Sorry, it's that goofy thing I have to do to make my job easier. Yeah. Can we get you a clapper? Fuck. Get you a slate? I wouldn't yeah, hate that. Huh? I wouldn't hate that. You can get one of those uh, uh, board, put, you can like, get one of those uh, MMA judging clappers. It or the made, rough clappers. It would have oh, made the, the 10-second uh, clappers. It would have <laughs> made that old lonesome shoot a lot easier if I had one of those. A clapper? I used the snare, but... <laughs> oh, that's old clapper. Clap, clap them cheeks, baby. Clap them cheeks. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> That's how we're starting this. Yeah, we're just going to start it off like that. Yep. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Been a while. That's a great sound. Y'all remember when the last time y'all were here? Let's adjust these mics and everything, yeah. get them all ready. No, I think we're pretty set. I mean, you want to grab your mic, uh, Evan? You can't hear it on one side. Uh, that's why I was going to ask for more snare. <laughs> oh. Sibilance. Sibilance. Can I get. <laughs> Oh no! I I, oh, I, yeah, I yeah, could yeah. hear I couldn't hear anything on my left. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Well, the left side again. I don't know if it's a. I don't know if it's the headphones or the. It's fine, man. There we go. Well, comes and goes. I should have just brought my, mine, man. That's well. That's on my <laughs> on my shopping list is headphones and these things. 
Oh, the arms, yeah. Yeah. They're starting to get a little worn out. Yeah, well, just they I want to get nicer for a long time. Ones. Yeah, but yeah. they're they they ring out whenever you hit the table. Oh, because it springs. Ring. Yeah, it kind of goes. Mm. But then I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some that you can like they have hide gas the filled cables ones, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's gas cool. filled. Yeah, they're like they kind of hydraulic. See. Dude, oh. you guys really up? Dude, look at this dude, man. He's got in ears. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, he's always had those. Oh, really? Yeah. Those are molded to his, yeah. his ear. Yeah. Oh, well, you're a sound man. Yeah, that makes yeah. Sense. it's part That's of like, it. This is a uh, it's a it's a work expense. Right. I mean, right off of my I I did <laughs> <laughs> I definitely did. I like, always wanted some man. I think these ears cost as much as my truck did. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. Almost. You could just write them off, yeah. All right, cool. well, let's kick this thing off, you know. Um, here we are again. We're back with the, the, the Gulf Coast Spirit Society guys, Evan and Paul. Thanks for coming back. What's up, man? Uh, last time, so so far we've done, a, we've done a bourbon episode and we've done a scotch episode, right? Mm -hmm. So what we have today is something a little different. It's not um, uh, a specific category of, of spirits that we're doing. We're going to kind of do like a comparison sort of a a value thing where yeah. we're doing like call it's premiums and wells. Have this just in time for uh, last minute Christmas shopping. You know, yeah, kind of. <laughs> I mean, that was kind of the idea, right? You know. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be mostly still still focused on bourbon and, mm -hmm. and whiskey or American whiskey, but uh, but yeah, I think we got a pretty kind of you know uh, wide range here that we can talk about, and 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 I think some people are probably drinking the stuff that don't they don't really know they're actually drinking this. Yeah, so. it's kind of it's kind of funny to have y'all back yeah, on and we have these plastic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I love these. <laughs> <laughs> a little pocket, they put the little curve on. Well, them. It's like it's like the one thing that I really love about um, <laughs> the one thing I really love about y'all's group is that it's really positive and there's not a lot of pretension in it. You know what I mean? Um, whenever somebody shares a like a a picture that they're like, "Hey, I'm about to I'm about to drink this benchmark for say like yeah. something we have." If somebody shares that, no one's like, "Oh my God, you you philistine! How dare you yeah. bring that into our group?" So I just think this is like a, a really cool thing. Um, you know, because just because something's expensive doesn't mean it's good, right? Correct, well, and that's kind of what we were wanting to talk about <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Yeah, today. not everyone is at the same stage of their, you know, whiskey or or spirits journey. I guess mm. um, some guys are are just getting into it, and they just want to ask a simple question, like, "Hey, man, has anybody heard of this?" or, you know, "What can I expect?" or or whatever. And mm. and yeah, everybody's pretty cool about it. So, yeah, um, so yeah. Uh, when you go to a bar, you know, you get yeah. uh, and and they have like a, a special, like today we got a $2 vodkas, $2 wells. Mm. You know, sometimes we don't know what that means. Um, so, what and we, they don't really we tell brought, you the brand either. No, they don't. Yeah, so no. I mean, you, say, can, you can try to catch, catch you say well, yeah. whiskey, you kind of see, yeah, you don't know what you're going to get, you just know it's going to be like the uh, the bottom shelf. Whiskey, yeah, right? it's what they yeah. keep on usually hand for all a the mixer, time. right? Yeah. yeah. So, so we brought some of that, and I actually went to the to a few of the liquor stores here in town in Beaumont. And ask them what are your most popular, you know, well whiskeys that that the that your what they call on premise customers are buying. So these were some of the ones that they said. You know, we got ancient age, uh, <laughs> ancient age. Well, I'm gonna get my glasses, man. Ancient age preferred. You know, that's good. Nice preferred. preferred, homeless yeah. people, blended <laughs> whiskey. So this is not actually bourbon; it's blended whiskey. Check that out. Um, benchmark. Hey yo. And I know I've seen this at some of the, the places that I go. Uh, this actually is a bourbon. It's a uh, straight bourbon, mm -hmm. which I, which means that it actually has some rules that apply to it. That's John Stiegel's favorite. It sure is. Old, is old man Shout out to Jake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, the one I heard the most was this. McCormick. Okay, yeah. McCormick so that's what most whiskey. of the bars around kind of choose. Yeah. For theirs. yeah. And there was a couple of other mm -hmm. ones. Uh, uh, which is the one you mentioned earlier? Um, uh, Sunnybrook. Sunnybrook. Yeah. Sunnybrook. Sunnybrook. And then there that was, sounds horrible, Sunnybrook. Yeah, it doesn't even sound like whiskey. Well, the the label and stuff too is very confusing. It looks more like uh, like, like a, a blended Canadian whiskey, like a blended something. Scotch. Yeah, it, it, looks it looks like something like, you yeah. get at like Kroger. Yeah, you know? <laughs> I think like, that's actually a really old label too. It, yeah. I think it goes back. It's a few yellow. And it's, I don't <laughs> know. Oh, it kind of has that like classy kind of like old school kind of look to it. And then then I brought this one too. Kentucky Gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> and this one says it's a Kentucky bourbon whiskey, a blend of Kentucky straight bourbon, whiskey, and spirits from our finest grains. Which means blended whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a, a dressed up name but it's, for blended whiskey. It says whiskey. bourbon. It says Kentucky bourbon whiskey. Hmm. Just blended bourbons, I guess. I don't know you could do that. 
Yeah. So Either bourbon's way. not supposed to be a blend, right? It goes what against are, the council. No. Well, oh, and it, oh, can't it's be. A, it actually, they break it down for you. It's 51% straight whiskey aged at least 36 months, 49% grain neutral spirits. So I'm sure uh, one of our members can tell us exactly what all that means. And well, I mean, grain neutral spirits is <laughs> well, we, essentially we, We've been vodka. doing like right. premieres now, so yeah. maybe if they watch along, they can uh, definitely comment. In oh, the, I'm sure. In I'm the sure there'll be yeah. some, comments. Maybe some so, comments. So this is like, uh, this is a line of wells that you've got. Yeah, mm-hmm. this then, is a line of just of like some wells that, yeah. that I asked, and these were the names that were kind of thrown at us. And then next up, you have like the, the call. Like what what they call, you know. Oh, man, that's my bad. That's fine. Um, Power of editing. A call is essentially just when you name something by name. So, yeah. like, if you say, I want a Jack and Coke, yeah. you're going to get Jack. You're, that's a call. So, we, we brought a couple of minis of Jack. We wanted to try those. Um, Evan Williams, which is, uh, this is more of a, like, a premium well. Evan you know, Williams, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a it's a well, but it's high, higher, a higher, 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 high well. side. I think that's well. one of the yeah. ones like those are the bottles that I buy because I don't want to get Jack or anything. But I just need a cheap bottle of whiskey for yeah. mixers. No, it, yeah. it's a it's a good. It's actually Kentucky yeah, straight bourbon. I think mm-hmm. it's like a ten so, ten dollar bottle for seven yeah. fifty. That's actually the uh, second highest selling bourbon in the world behind that bottle he just pulled out. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. And then uh, Jim Beam. Mm-hmm. Another, What's, what is a Jim Beam specific drink, like mixer? Jim and Coke instead of Jack. Well, yeah, Jim and Coke. Yeah, Jim. Or, yeah, and well, it's a call because some people just get Jim Beam on the rocks. Yeah. You know, um, doesn't uh, what's her name do that? Mila Kunis. Oh yeah, that's who she. she yeah, well, yeah. well, if yeah. they give her millions of dollars to be the face of them, I'd, <laughs> yeah. I'd call for it all. And doesn't the Scarlett Wax, Johansson rep to them now? Makers, Makers Mark? Yeah, yeah, I think so. That's right. Mm-hmm. Gotta love so it. So another kind of a call. I wonder how much extra money they have to spend to wax all their bottles, you know? like instead They just, wax these by hand, man. Yeah. I know. Really? I can't believe yeah. they're yeah. waxing the yeah. little. Yeah. Do you think they do the little ones, too? <laughs> yeah, all of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's all done by hand. That is nuts. Then uh, another old favorite, which I didn't realize was an American whiskey, but Seagram 7. seven. Mm. It's when you order 7 and 7. That's no, what you're getting. Seven seven's pretty good. I like. I like. I do seven, like seven, it's seven, an old faithful yeah. man, yeah. Yeah. and it, and it, and it's one of those when you don't when they put you on the spot, you're like, what do you want? That's that's like uh, the that's what you drink whenever seven, you're kind of sick, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's that's a little, little sprite. <laughs> you know, that's what you drink right? when, you have, you know, when you got a cold. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. <laughs> you still got to get a little whiskey in you. Cold know? version. It's like of a, a cold hot toddy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then we brought a couple of other bottles where that are just like um, there's some limited editions. We just wanted to kind of compare. You got the fancy boys over here. Yeah, the premiums. Yeah. Where you know where some of this stuff actually is the same stuff that's in those bottles, just that um, it'd be like selected. Altered. Yeah, yeah. A lot. That's really the difference, I think, in some of these premiums is they're hand selected. So somebody will go through the warehouse and uh, and you know taste all these barrels and say, oh, this we want to save this for this. The mm-hmm. rest dump it into McCormick or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And some of those are probably like aged differently, right, too? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of different, because there's a minimum age. I mean, for bourbon, it's, well, actually, there is no minimum age for bourbon. But straight well, bourbon, I think, is two years, right? Yeah. So it, bourbon is still, lessened. see, I, okay, I know y'all took us to school on the first time we did this, but I'm going to ask a lot of stupid questions again. So, <laughs> so straight bourbon is a defined term separate from bourbon. Mm-hmm. Correct. And that just means it hasn't been yeah. blended or messed up. Bourbon essentially just means that it's got to be Thirty-one percent corn in the recipe. Fifty-one. I'm sorry. Fifty-one percent corn in the recipe, and it has to at some point touch an unused charred container. Yeah, a container a, a doesn't necessarily container. have to be a, yeah. a barrel. <laughs> Although I don't think anybody's could be a putting big them wood in box. A big yeah. charred technically wood box. it could technically, be. Yeah. It, the the legal if definition pour, says container. Pour it in the, into that uh, oak box. And dump it right out. It's bourbon. It's bourbon. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. So there could be. Do they have to have like a of... priest there to make sure that it happens, or like, <laughs> they, like... right? Maybe they bless it or something. Yeah. <laughs> bless hey, it maybe that's what we're missing. Maybe we could like make that happen and have a label. We'll just be like, "This is a blessed bourbon." <laughs> blessed bourbon. Well, blessed bourbon. They actually yeah. just did a uh, Pabst um, oh, has no. a whiskey, holy water, and they wanted to do it as uh, an unaged whiskey, essentially, kind of like a moonshine, but they didn't want to call it a moonshine. Mm-hmm. Um, they just wanted to call it an unaged whiskey, well, or white whiskey. Those are clear, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the TTB, the government agency that um, handles labels and everything, they told them that they couldn't do, they couldn't call it a whiskey unless it had been aged in a barrel at least 
a little bit. Mm-hmm. So it says on the label, uh, age in a barrel for like 20 seconds or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> and so they just basically, wa- yeah. they, they put it into a barrel, dump it out. Put it into a barrel, dump it yeah, out. So yeah. it's it's not age, but that's what they had to do to be wow. able to say it, it's a whiskey. <laughs> yeah, it's Pabst Blue said, Ribbon wow. whiskey or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Pabst Blue Ribbon whiskey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, you just got to lean into it, too, because everybody knows that when you're drinking anything that says Paps on it, it's supposed to be cheap, and you know, yeah. highly accessible thing. So if you're drinking, come on, you're not trying to look for something fancy. It's if, for hipsters, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah for H, hipsters. You, no one's going to look at that and be like, age 20 seconds. Dead. <laughs> they all own homes now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I forgot about this one, because uh, this one goes around in a lot of circles, especially if you shop at Specs. They always uh, push this particular one here. It's called 1835. So we'll we'll run it through the pieces yeah. with all these other ones. Come and take it. <laughs> Ain't it, made anywhere near Texas. Yeah. Nope. There's, There's a lot of bitches. Texas branding on it though. It's bottled in Louisville. Well, you Louisville, know what? Texas? Uh, yeah. How yeah. about how about we start off punishing ourselves and we we get the worst one out of the way? Okay. All right. So you want to do that? Do you want to go with the McCormick? I feel like we're oh, selling. I 1835 we're, well, would be the worst. Well, we got to right, we can not. do both. Like we got to do we got to do the yeah. the the number one seller, you know. Uh, well, I, I I don't have official numbers, but every every liquor store I went to and asked them what they sold for for uh, yeah uh, Wells McCormick always came okay. up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try the uh, the most popular. All right, Let's see what it's all about. It's a fresh bottle, man. Yeah, yeah, I've never had this before, so this the should pour be a interesting. Very very small amount. Yeah, I mean, we have a lot to get through. So yeah, oh yeah, this is just a little small taste. taste. I feel like we're selling these Glencairns. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys still have some of these Glencairns? You guys need to uh, make some, man. Yeah. What, uh, so Glencairns? Glencairns. No, we need, no, we need not beer mugs. Any, <laughs> any other ones. Yeah, I uh, still have some that oh. uh, are allocated to people, and they never picked them up. But Oh, well, that's a nice note. It's got a... Is it? <laughs> it's got it's kind a of sour just note. A, just got, a, yeah, I'm trying got to, an alcohol note. I, too. I probably yeah. didn't pour enough to know. <laughs> so I only poured a sip. It just oh, kind of... Wow. Yeah. <laughs> like so when you cleaning yeah, whenever uh whenever you see like two dollar wells, mm-hmm. this is probably what you're getting, man. Yep, tastes familiar. Does it? <laughs> yeah. It tastes yeah, like that's, um, that's a yeah, yeah. that's a bit harsh. <clears throat> it's it's not super bad because it's kind of got some sweetness, and I could tell that it honestly naturally would be it really yeah, on the finish, it actually does you know? have a little sweetness, but the, I can yeah. taste all the like harshness. Mm-hmm. It has that like you can kind of taste it. Man, the, I gotta say. I don't hate it's it. It's not terrible. No, yeah. It's, no. I, I, yeah, I thought I'd want to like I, spit too. it out, but it just, yeah, it's, it, it's just, I, it's lacking man, of character. You know, it doesn't really I have any character. I tasted some stuff that was like hyped up. That's probably not as good. as this. Oh no, <laughs> really? I take yeah, like like uh, remember that Cavalon? Oh yeah, the Vino Barrique. Vino Bar- yeah. That was like three hundred dollar bottle, man. Wasn't there a bottle that was, like soy sauce? There was a bottle going around in the group. What? That, like, that like everybody was just really? shitting on for like a good week or two. I think. Which one was it? Oh, I'm sure that it was. was. I'm sure it happened. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably like the rest of the news cycle already forgot about it. <laughs> um, yeah, they. Uh, I I can think of some some whiskeys yeah, in it, that man? area that are. Uh, I haven't been on as much, man. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm a little out of the loop. Mm. Well, okay. That's not awful. All right, man. So, what did yeah. you think? We we should you should have got some notepads. Uh, and <laughs> some tasting notes. <laughs> yeah. It's Rank not. Them. I mean, not bad. It's um. It's not. It's not terrible. Uh, it does. It smells like al- pure alcohol. Yeah. It doesn't taste. It, the little. The little bit of sweetness I kind of like. Um, I don't like sweet, at, like the really strong sweet ones. But uh, it's not. You know, it tastes. Tastes like a whiskey. It tastes good in a, in a whiskey and diet. I don't know, man. I, I think mean, I can <laughs> taste. Uh, see, I I taste that harshness I, I, from I, that I didn't grain neutral. I'll say yeah. That. I mean. I'd if say, somebody just snuck yeah. it on me, I'd be like, eh. Mm-hmm. I'd say it's <laughs> worth two bucks, you know? Um, <laughs> it's, it's, oh, for a, I think for it a would pour. be worth two yeah. bucks. I think it's worth two bucks. It, yeah. t- to me, it is. it does belong on the bottom shelf mm-hmm. because it, it doesn't really have character. Um, there's nothing... It's just it's alcohol. It. You know what? Yeah. Would, yeah. would you say this, that if you don't really care what's going in your yeah. drink, would you be okay with that? Yeah. Mm. I yeah. mean, yeah. and also, if you're just going to put Coke in the drink anyway. That's what I'm saying. If, you, yeah. if you're ordering a, hey, I just want a whiskey and Coke. Right. It's, yeah. And you don't specify well, the Well, because job there's, that you there's, want. there's some, because uh, there's some that don't, <laughs> like, they taste like shit, even in a well drink, yeah. you know? It's like, uh, and it, this this would be good with a Coke. I'm, 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 I'm honestly, I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be horrible. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's always, I mean, 
number one advertising, <laughs> like marketing, maybe they'd pushed it enough, but like all that aside, like there's usually a reason that it's it's the one that's most regretted. <laughs> well, it has, it's really cheap. <laughs> so that's probably why they just sell a lot of it. Is that the it. cheapest out of these? I think it was. Really? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I, I mean, it's no one. shit. It's McCormick, dude. You know, McCormick yeah. is uh, I wonder big plastic bottles. Who makes it? So. Does it say on there? I'll tell you, look, it, it, Sunny Brook might have been cheaper, yeah. but I didn't yeah. want to buy a, a, handle. A, a handle. That's all they had. A handle's yeah. a, a, a 1.75. Like yeah, and it was like 12 bucks. <laughs> 12 bucks for a handle? It was Damn. somewhere. It was less than 20 bucks. And I was like, I just don't want to buy that much. Man. So, <laughs> and here's the thing about this one too: is this is 80 percent grain neutral spirits. That's oh, wow. 80 percent. Oh, See, I can well, taste that, that. I mean, that's a little basically, bit. basically means it's 80 percent vodka. Yeah, this is basically that's 80, why it smells yeah. like pure alcohol when you smell yeah. it. Yeah, right. It's it's 80 percent vodka and 20 percent straight whiskeys. So what? it's a blend. Okay. Um, that makes sense why it's McCormick, you know. So that's a whiskey, not a bourbon. Blended that's a whiskey, whiskey, yeah. Blended okay. whiskey, and that's that's why the smell has. Well, that, let's stay with the whiskey. That neutral um, smell with the whiskeys. And say, uh, let's go to Kentucky Gentleman who uh, raises the game up to 51% bourbon. Oh, hey, <laughs> oh, we're climbing the ladder here. 49%. So, something else neutral. about that blended whiskey, it's not just American blended whiskey, but Canadian blended yeah. whiskey has that grain neutral spirit in it too. So, Crown, <laughs> they, uh, they put it in there. I do. I just that makes sense with the Crown. sweetness. Wow, that it actually smells totally different. Mm. Plastic? Yeah, so just to, uh, I love these episodes, man. I'm just wondering how, because it's just us getting smashed. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm sure the conversations are going to get much better. As oh, we go well, no, I think it's good. What was the last time we started talking about uh, about uh, doctor stuff? Doctors. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, I'd have to go back. And yeah. Look. I don't know. Oh no, Aaron what usually has to drop. Once he gets a little he drunk, drop he starts knowledge. dropping knowledge. Heck yeah. He'll YouTube University. YouTube University. He knows it's true. Hey man, I, I got a PhD in YouTube. I, I'm starting to put Sweet. like a fact check button in the bottom. I'm going to look up oh, whatever he said and I'm just going to have You're it like, pop up. Like, look into it. He's look totally up. full look of shit. Up, look it up, man. I think you'll be surprised how, how <laughs> no, usually you're, right you're I usually am. right. It's just annoying. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm usually right. It's annoying. I, I know. I know. It's like, it's like you're getting Ooh, lectured that, that, almost. It has a little paint thinner. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Mm. Definitely not as strong of a smell. It smells like the paint aisle at Home Depot. There's, so there's like a, a thing I like, say. When I, when I smell like, like really neutral. Yeah. Like you when could I smell specify like, like really sweet. The flower. Really neutral <laughs> spirit. I just call it the Sharpie smell. That's just so what I know. Go, it's, like, yeah. it's the Sharpie I mean, maybe yeah, there's smell. alcohol in it. It smells like that, permanent yeah. marker. Yeah. 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 Okay, there it is. I miss smoke. It wasn't paint. It was Sharpie. Smoke Sharpie. Okay, so right off the bat to me, this I McCormick's ahead for me. Really? Because a Kentucky gentleman is Ooh. like sweet, really, and I'm I, not. I kinda see, like I don't know. It's, this one's a, a stringent on there. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. To me, it definitely I'll, hits a little harder. I'll put them back here, and we can like order, rank them yeah, like where yeah. we want, you know. But for right now, I don't know. We'll Battle of the Wells. Right can't, now. Yeah. can't wait till we get into the uh, the calls. The calls? <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna punish ourselves. Mm. Yeah, so we're gonna oh, we're gonna, we're gonna take sips. a we're gonna take a sip from every one of these bottles, huh? Uh, I not necessarily. No, no, no. <laughs> sure, I, sure. I, on the calls, we calls were just—we mm, know already, what they uh, taste yeah. like. We know where they stand. Absolutely. Actually, on the calls, we all are very familiar with how they taste. <laughs> you think? <laughs> what about this one? I'm I'm pretty familiar. That's with my that. go-to man. Yeah. That's uh, Wild old turkey. Lonesome's favorite, I think. Hey, man. Old Lonesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll just bring some more water in here. Mm. We can do it. <laughs> I'm with you, man. Yeah, yeah I brought, I brought, I'm down. I'm with you. I'm, I'm, I'm not vacation until the end of the year. That's half of the fun of these episodes <laughs> yeah. is that we do get to get trashed and people <laughs> that get to must watch. That be nice. I have to be at work and, in the morning. Uh, <laughs> and whatever happens, happens. I love it. All right, so what so, do you guys What do you guys see. think about I, you know, gentlemen? Mm. I actually thought the, the benchmark had a little, I mean, the, oh, the, the KG had a little more flavor. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's see. Does this have any percentages or anything? Uh, I mean, obviously, this is supposed to be a little better quality higher end, yeah. because it's it's, higher it's end. this is aged at least thirty six months. You know, um, it has a higher percentage of straight whiskeys than this does, mm -hmm. uh, and yet for some reason, and it, this is probably a little more expensive. And yet for some reason, I still liked this one more. And you know, that's the that's the odd thing. Man, about I want to say one was like four bucks, and the other one was like five bucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something so, like that. See, I'm not uh, on the. Uh, as much on the regs as uh, I'm not as um, Wade, yeah, Wade is, would but, tell us uh, everything. but um, I'm curious if they're allowed to add any um, coloring, flavoring. Mm. Oh, they're oh. definitely adding color. Like, do you on. think? Do you think nutrition labels are ever going to come to whiskeys and stuff like that? 
And uh, they're starting to come to beer. There's no nutrition in whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> there um, there are carbs. There's no carbs. They put it on water. Well, I guess technically. Do, that's true. You know? They do put yeah. it on water. Yeah. The one thing they don't need to put it on. Yeah. Well, not on this water. All, All right, right what's up next? Ancient age. Now, that's made at Buffalo Trace Distillery, which is known. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, ancient age, it probably doesn't is, say it on here, but which yeah, is ancient known age, but Frank for some of the is. most sought after whiskeys yeah. and bourbons that there are. So that has some Buffalo Trace in it. I was about to say, if that was regular ancient age instead of the uh, the blended whiskey, that would be the really? same as the that'd it be Mashville has too. Some of that, so it has it. Mashville too in it. Yeah. Okay. We can compare that to the Blantons. This isn't gonna be too bad, guys. We're all doing like we're doing a millions. quarter. We're doing like a quarter of a of a shot. Yeah, we so, we gotta pace we've, ourselves, man. Yeah, a lot to go at yeah. some point. <laughs> Each one of these lines to, is just gonna. Well, be I mean, a we're shot. twenty minutes in. You know, I was about to say I'm gonna uh, uh, for some of these other ones, I'll, I'll pour a little more. Yeah, I'm saving the clean glasses. Ooh, yeah, that's ones. that's what I, I saw you doing that, and I was like, good job. We'll save it for this side of the table. All right, ancient age. Mm. That one was that is definitely the smoothest to me out of the three. I do not like the flavor Ooh. on the tip of your tongue. No. Oh, not God. my thing. Oh, oh, it just punches mm. you right in the fuck, just front really? of your mouth. It's a little yeah. bitter. It's God. right. It's all right here. That's so, like, yeah, that's a strange. It's, it's got a little sawdust. It's smooth. Going on. It's it does. There's it's all it goes yeah. back, but you can, if you can get it past that, your teeth. I mean, I guess it depends it's, on what you mix bitter. it with. It does it's have real, a bitter. Yeah, this uh, is right. a little sawdust. Bam. In like it. tannic. That's weird from a young it's probably, whiskey. It's probably really old whiskeys that. Oh, like over it. aged, just, yeah. and they just, just cut sitting it. They just there. Dump yeah. them in there. The, oh, that uh, that's too over oaked. Let's just cut it with mm-hmm. new Something make. Down. This is bought by <laughs> you said it was who Buffalo Trace. Yeah, mm-hmm. the hell, man. I kind of it's, it's got a real back <laughs> yeah. of the oh, tongue. That's real not back of the tongue. No, there. not at all. Ugh. Okay, that's Ugh. okay. And Aaron, th- where do you rank it? Uh for me right now, um, I'm also like ranking these based on what I'm going to do with them. So I'm I'm ranking them based on like. I'm gonna put this in Coke or something or Diet Coke, mm. you know. So that mm. has well, two, dude, like not, yeah, because the different oh, flavors so will match the flavor you know, profiles of whatever yeah, you're putting. Because we're not, yeah. we're not gonna like, I'm not mm. gonna rank these by. Dude, there's them probably straight. a mixologist somewhere yeah. that knows exactly like, which each one of those. is amazing for this one yeah. cocktail. You know? So yeah. to me, I mean, if you're already trying to get us a little flavor in the alcohol, yeah. you know, yeah. To me, out front is Ooh. is McCormick's. <laughs> so <laughs> that one was rough. <laughs> This one's out front to me, uh, Kentucky Gentleman. Oh, All the members McCormick. of the group are going to be just hating and then, on uh, <laughs> Look at these shitty ones. Well, I'm, sure, I'm sure this benchmark will be a little better. They were probably like a holiday special. Yeah. A bunch of limiteds. <laughs> that was the last. So that's, that's how I rank them. <clears throat> All right, benchmark. Now, this one actually is bourbon. And I know I've seen this in the well at some establishments here mm. in town. Benchmark. Old man benchmark. He used to beat his wife. He used to beat his wife, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is this a local celebrity no we uh we did an episode with our friend uh john steagle he lives in uh, michigan now shout out to john what episode uh, number is it i think it's 14 12 maybe it was one of our early ones uh basically he showed up sh- just pissed drunk with a we were bag, gonna try we're gonna try to do this with a bag full yeah oh. with a bag full of off brand a bunch of weird <laughs> shit like he had philippine rum that was in like a Tabasco bottle. It was a Tabasco or bottle yeah. with like a oh, wow. MS wow. Windows ninety five label. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, and and he started he benchmarked his the favorite whistle we started with. And he kept telling us he kept repeating the story. He kept Wait, repeating the story, the story yeah. about oh. the story of benchmark of was, old man was, benchmark and his wife. He was basically there to sabotage us. Uh, so we did a supercut with commentary. Did, did, I think that used to actually be <laughs> eight year old whiskey, right? Or is it just number most eight? anything <clears throat> that has a number on it, like that's old how many charter years. and all that? Yeah, yeah. it's just. They it used, used to have an age months. statement, oh, and so then all, they they turn it into number some so that people would still be misled. It's definitely the most pungent smell yeah. of all of them. Kind of. So that I mean, that's straight bourbon, right? Straight bourbon whiskey made in Buffalo Trace. I so. think that's that's like the most balanced of all of yeah, those. Yeah, that's my it, you get the so front far. the front taste. It hits the middle of your tongue, and then it has a little burn on the back end too. So. So, well, no, I guess that wouldn't be the same stuff that goes into blends because blends only comes from that one warehouse, right? Yeah. So, but the recipe's the same. That's mm. not awful. Yeah. That's no, definitely just, the best out of the bunch. I, I think, think so too. Yeah. yeah I think so too. It, uh, to, yeah. to me, it seems like, Go so bourbon. these three right here, like, yeah. we pretty much need to put these in Coke or mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. But then Benchmark, <laughs> I could just drink this by itself. Really? 
Yeah. That's not bad. It's not yeah, bad. like if you like living under a bridge and <laughs> you only had five dollars to your name and it, yeah, if you're drinking on that, buy that for God, I'm being really man. horrible for yeah. Christmas time. I think that might have like, been six dollars. Oh, it's old crow, man. You, you, old crow. <laughs> That's the one I was trying to think of. Old crow. <laughs> old, crow. Yeah. old crow. Well, there's also um, Kentucky Deluxe, which I didn't get. Um, Sunny Brook, <clears throat> and then there was one other one I can't remember what it was. Do so you say is Benchmark winning on this one? Then? I think Benchmark is winning. Out of those, or do we still sure. is tur- wild turkey? No, in it's this? a well. No, well, that's yeah. you know it, it won in the wells, but it actually is a bourbon, so it doesn't yeah. really. Yeah, it doesn't compete like, head to head with that, but, but it, it does is, in a way because it is a well. You know? Know? Yeah, it's mm-hmm. a well by definition. Kudos to is this uh, you know to log on for having it as a yeah. well. Yeah. So how do you guys rank this? Y'all, y'all agree I'm, here? I'm or going. Is there contestants? That, yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll I'll agree. That. That's okay. A, cool. Benchmark McCormick, Kentucky gentleman, right. ancient age. Well, we'll just keep going with this like ranking system, and we'll just uh, we'll keep adding on. So benchmark's so the viewers king of, write that king down of the will. So when you know when you're when you're buying low end. If you're broke and you just need something for a big party and a bunch of people, just get a bit. Just a Big shitload of benchmark. Of, I bet that comes yeah, in a people jug. Are, yeah, a jug. A jug. Like, like a, a bucket a with a handle, and like you have to tap it, you know, <laughs> plastic. Like those like, like, gallon, a, like cleaner, cleaner paint buckets. buckets. Remember yeah. those? Uh, <laughs> That's what ancient age comes I don't know, y'all in. Y'all might be too young. You get in an oil drum that they cleaned out with uh, some soap. Remember those party, party balls? Party balls? Oh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. like they have at the checkout counter? No, 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 man. Party They were like little kegs. Yeah. When I was in college, they had those party balls. Little kegerator kind of thing? Yeah, it was just like a... Came in a box, and it was like box beer. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, but it was a, it was, you know, Bud Light box or whatever you wine. wanted. Hmm. It was a, it was a party ball. The ponies, pony, pony kegs. kegs. Yeah. It was, these were plastic. Yeah, man. You see, that shows my age. They didn't catch on though. Yeah, I don't think. Well, I guess we're done. Well, well, we're, we got one more oh, American got, whiskey more. actually. Okay. Yeah, we got the. Since we Seekers. since we did American whiskey. Yeah, but that's kind of a call though. It is a call. Are we going we to can start now? with the, this one yeah. as the calls. Yeah. So All right, we're so we're done with our wells. We have those. So next right we got um, Seagram Seven, which right. I previously thought was Canadian, but it actually says American. Seagram's blend VO whiskey. is the Canadian one. Okay. V- what does VO stand for? Very old. Very. Uh, I think. Very. Um, what is that? What is the O? Omolagato. Yeah, there you go. Because <laughs> yeah, because there's VO, VSOP. God, what else? What's that VSOP? Stand? It was very special old or something. I forget. I think it is. Mm, the only, what does the, the video only stand for? Very old, my yeah. idea, chap. <laughs> it's real very simple. old. It's very old. <laughs> so yeah, benchmark wasn't too bad. So I know yeah. that this is mostly mixed in uh, with Seven Up. Mm-hmm. I've never really heard of any other cocktail with this in it. Just Seven and Seven, yeah. yeah. Seagram's gin. Sprite when you don't have right. yeah. so seven is it does Dr. Seagram make what, gin? Uh, my homie Dr. Dre yeah, showed they up make with, gin. They make okay, so it's with just some that's a gin. separate thing. I didn't know if they, they make Seagram's and gin. <laughs> 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 I'm an ignorant soul. No, man. You heard that right. It's uh my homie Dr. Dre showed up with a gang of Tangeray. You remember whenever Tangeray like tried to take off again, like in the in the mid two thousands? They they took uh, what P. Diddy's uh personal assistant. He was dancing around on a yacht with like an umbrella and shit. What? And he was like, Tangeray? Gin yeah. or vodka? Well, they don't make Tangeray, the vodka anymore, I, I don't think. Tangeray never really left. It's kind of... It's always Yeah, I got Tangeray in my bar. It's that Tangeray 10 gin. Seagram's. Seagram's. Oh, not very much of a smell. Hmm. Oh. Not very much, but what's in there is not very good. No, it's very stringent. Hmm. Yep. <clears throat> I liked the benchmark better. Yeah, mm-hmm. that tastes like nothing. Yeah. I mean, Bad that's nothing. Uh, it's like, I mean, there's got to be a reason they mix yeah, it with like seven. What do you? Where did they make I can that? see that. With it kind of has a, like the, le- the lingering taste. Kind of <clears throat> has like a spritey kind of taste. Yeah, what, what it do you actually kind of uh, Seagram's. What What do you think's in Seagram's? <clears throat> does it say on there? Because it's not MGP. <laughs> a whiskey just a whiskey of distinctive character, smooth, rich, full flavored, without a trace of heaviness. <laughs> Not at all. 75% all neutral grain spirit. 75%? Proudly blended and bottled in America. Didn't say in United Connecticut. States. So I guess it can be Canadian. No, it no, says it's Canadian. in America. Blended well, and bottled America. in Connecticut. Connecticut? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Norwalk, Connecticut. All right. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and... I was not a fan. I'm going to put that right there. Mm-mm. Oh, right behind Benchmark? That's not bad. That's a good place. I'll put it right Man, there. Man, you think it's better than McCormick? 
I think it's better than McCormick. Really? McCormick, like, McCormick kind of didn't have any body. You know, like it kind of just yeah. like it, it had the first what? <laughs> I love how we're connoisseuring. No, no, I mean, well, I mean, if we're gonna do it, you gotta do it. Yeah, you know? no, you're right. Fake it until you make no. it. Uh, but you know, it's like it kind of smacked you oh, in the face and then to, it burned. We're gonna have was... to line all these up then if yeah. we're doing that. Yeah, we might be yeah, surprised. Be Maybe benchmark just keeps moving up the ladder. <laughs> we, might, we might be. Yeah, yeah because that's kind of <laughs> what we're doing. Is like we're we're talking about the value and yeah. Well, especially once we move to these nicer bottles and. uh Certainly, that uh, that Seagram's is the least value of all. Right, those. Mm. but I do like how this is already evident where this is a call drink and this mm-hmm. is a well where's drink. The, where's right? the pop for that? Yeah, and it, definitely. And it's already like kind of seeping yeah, down. Seagram's seven's a call opening drink. Opening up, you know. Um, I mean, I might have actually liked yeah, the McCormick yeah. a little. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't know. I might have liked the McCormick disappear. a little more. But I, that's oh, all right, well, man. Yeah. If we if we spell it, it won't. <laughs> it's not going to be terrible. All right, so um, there you go. now we're going to move into bourbon. You should probably do, you want to do the 1835? This is, it says bourbon. Yeah. Let's do it. So let's the, do this one. Specs. So this one, man, do you want oh, to talk God. about this one? Jesus. Sure. I'm not yeah, going to like this so, one. Uh, you don't it think looks like, like it? syrup. So this Here, one. Let's not lose that. So this one is 1835 <laughs> bourbon. It's got all kinds of Texas iconography on it. Yeah. You know, the come and take it, 1835. Yeah, cool. Even says Texas made. Really? But it, look, it's split on the label. So maybe it's the label that was yeah. made in Texas? The label and the bottles are, yeah. The graphic designer lives <laughs> no, in Katy. it's Texas <laughs> and then made. And they're like, yeah, it says bottled by 18. 18- oh, distilled in Kentucky. Wow. They finally started putting that on there. So they did not use they, it. Oh, you couldn't so find tr- anything bourbon. on there. Hmm. And wow. if, it's, if it's out of Kentucky, it's going to be from one of these major players. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess so they it could be Jim Beam. Crap. It could be Brown Foreman. It could be Buffalo Trace. It's just it's so Four crazy Roses. to me that these, like, these, these companies are like, they just mass produce this liquid that other people use and it's well, just it's almost like it's uh, rebranding it you know love, well but yeah. i mean you love. see the same thing in manufacturing all this cheap stuff that <laughs> we get from china like the little like drone things that fly in the air like they they just take the same thing and then put a different sticker on it sure and then yeah. some people get pick of the litter mm-hmm. you know Definitely. but see look how all right so it has all this texas stuff on there it even says texas made now it's split halfway across the label but then on the back it texas says distilled made. in kentucky yeah yeah, yeah like so there's lots of misleading going on in in the whiskey world. Yeah, hey man, I mean Texas is maybe, a big market. This is the know? pride of specs. It's one of the biggest markets in whiskey. Really? Yeah, I think outside of Kentucky, yeah. it may be the biggest. I know California is a big market. Florida is, but yeah, Texas man, is I'd a be, huge market, especially I bet it's with the biggest the groups. market. Texas, because I mean, they have a lot more people in yeah, Kentucky. Yeah, yeah, we we more. tend to get a lot of the, um, and we're probably bigger than Florida too, because most Florida people are on meth, not on whiskey. So very true. You yeah. know, you true. And they like the rum the in Florida. Yeah. Oh, that's mm-hmm. not good at all. Yeah. Oh, it smells so fucking bad. I don't oh. want to drink this. That's that sharpie smell. I don't want to drink this. Back. Okay, hold on. I, I'd say benchmark. Suffer for your yeah, art. I gotta exactly. do it for the gram. Suffer for your art. Really good. Oh, why'd I pour so much? Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, oh it tastes like they tried to make it a scotch and just said, fuck it. Like, mm. Why is it? It tastes peaty. Okay. Right? It so, tastes funky. So I can tell. Oh, it's it just not tastes, terrible. So I hate to defend this yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it is. But I oh, wait, tried yeah. this years it's, ago. The aftertaste is pretty the decent. Finish is not like, it's, yeah. I think I think the quality's <laughs> come down. Is it used to not be as offensive it was just super neutral whenever mm. i had it you gotta break, like, you gotta break like past the smell me. Hmm? tastes like like hot sugar to me. <laughs> oh yeah a little caramel yeah the caramel <laughs> yeah really like sugary well that's usually a good trait in yeah. that short yeah super <laughs> short finish mm. little tannic would you yeah. say the benchmark is better yeah yeah well and so let me tell you about it. like you go into <clears> specs <throat> and a lot of times if you're in the whiskey aisle and you're like, oh, I don't really know what I want. They're going to come up and Guaranteed, tell you. Mm-hmm. they're going to push that on you. Hmm. Do they have that in place? 1835? Do, do they just buy too much of it? There's, it's probably it's, always it's probably been a, higher a uh, uh, well, deal. Specs yeah. is a Texas it, com- yeah. company, right? Yeah. So they're like, hey, just make us uh, some bourbon and there's uh, a higher we'll stick there, some Texas yeah. stickers uh, on it. There's, there's uh, yeah. kickbacks going on for just sure. Some, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, man. So now we got... Uh, the next day, Paul gets fired by... 
<laughs> yeah, no, hey, that's fine. They can ban me for uh, specs. That's, that's fine. <laughs> for lack of a better word, now we're going into name brands. And these are some of the... Um, Classics, man. Fucking yeah. Slash. You know, Jim like, Beam, like, Jack Daniels, they, Evan Williams, They're, they're all in Mark. songs except for maybe Makers. Makers is... I know it's not new, but it seems it's like it's seen than the other. It seems like know. it's popularization. Well, it's newer than new. all the other ones. Yeah, there. it seems like because Jack, this is like I mean that's in fucking like every oh, yeah. every song, mm-hmm. every yeah. rock and yeah. roll is rock and roll is Jack Daniels. That's you know? that's the so which is the 80s. too. It's like yeah. Southern rock. Jack Daniels, interestingly enough, <laughs> is um, could be classified as a bourbon, <clears throat> but it's uh, labeled a Tennessee whiskey. Why is it labeled a Tennessee whiskey, Paul? Because of the uh, Lincoln County process where they uh, put it through like a vat of charcoal. Mm, and so it's yeah. like an extra filtering process. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but technically, mm-hmm. it still fits as, as bourbon. Yeah, it, all the, it, 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 uh, it hits all the criteria for bourbon, but that extra step makes, makes it, it a Tennessee yeah. whiskey. Yeah. And interesting, man, that they use maple uh, always, yeah, charcoal. Sugar maple. I always thought it was charcoal. It was. It was People think it's a bourbon or call it a bourbon. Well, I mean, it is a bourbon. I mean, it can, but they, they don't want to call it. Kentucky they don't want to call it a bourbon. It. Okay. No, it's made in Tennessee. Or ten, yeah, okay. So this is the same company as, as Brown Foreman, right? Yeah, so that's owned by <clears throat> Brown Foreman. Uh, same people that do Makers. Mm-hmm. Uh, not Makers, sorry, that's Jim Beam. Uh, do Old Forester and Woodford. Is, uh, same, is the same company, company as Jack. Yeah. And that's the best-selling whiskey in the world. Best-selling whiskey in the world, right here. Yeah, man. Jack Daniel. I mean, a lot of the rest of the world is stuck in the '80s. You know, they're lagging behind. So, I mean, if that's the best-selling, it's just so <laughs> iconic. I mean, yeah, yeah it e- is. Everybody, dude. I remember starts seeing their whiskey uh, on Jack and Coke. Michael I mean, Anthony Jack from Coke, Van Halen, yeah. dude, with a a base, yeah, th- yeah. shaped like a I Jack mean, Daniel's shit, bottle. I mean, how many how many college dudes are like decorating their apartment with those things? I oh, mean, yeah, yeah right? even <laughs> can't tell you how many bottles. I've and they drank. had the posters and like. Also, it's kind of like a lot of people's entryway, you know. And, Jack and uh, Coke. Well, it's kind of I don't know what to order at the bar. Yeah. Whiskey. I don't know what to order at the bar. Uh, G- Jack, G- Jack and Coke, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, yeah and it's so or like some some Jack and Coke, huh? That was your story, right? The Jack and Coke to Jim and Coke. I'm gonna keep passing it on. <laughs> You're gonna pass on the Jack. <laughs> what? No. Come on, man! All right, oh, that had bad? so much bad whiskey. <laughs> um, oh, it's like got a weird. give the dog But no, yeah, actually, I started on Jim. He likes edibles. He doesn't like liquor. Uh <laughs> uh, for a little bit. Yeah, I started on Jim. We all know what I mean, this is. And then uh, yeah, went man. to Jack because I thought Jack tasted better in Coke Thank than Jim. So I went away from Jim to Jack and drank Jack for years. And then decided there has to be something better out there. Mellow up, but you tasted a Walden. Who knows it? Did you? What'd you oh, think? we should have saved this for that uh, heritage. Well, we can come back to it side by side. Well, we can do it now. <clears throat> Sugar maple chart. If you want. Well, I mean... I'm just. Okay, I was, so think, I was thinking we finish this half uh, on these, and then we move on to these nice. Okay. Well, well yeah. what I was going to say was, um, we actually brought a bottle of Jack Daniel's Heritage Barrel, which <gasps> oh. is kind of a. We were going to do a comparison to say, okay, yeah. you know, the difference between a premium and, and right. a standard. Uh, d- okay, so do we want to we want to do this and then end it? You know, because we know what these other ones taste like, or do we want to taste all? No, nah, we, we're gonna we taste all. Let's okay, just okay, keep going. Okay. I actually okay. do want to drink huh? the Evan. I haven't had standard Evan Williams in a long yeah. time. Okay, so we you want to keep ranking them? Yeah, and let's then we can just come back. Do you want to? Uh, we'll, let's do this, man. Why don't we grab another Glen Carn? Mm. Okay, and uh, we'll oh, just yeah, do them double. as we go. Okay, okay. So we're gonna compare. So we can do the ra- standard ranking and the side by side. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So essentially, what we have here is um. Standard Jack Daniels, and then we have a limited edition Jack Daniels. Mm. And, and the reason that we wanted to do that was to show that sometimes um, limited editions actually are kind of worth are worth the money or worth the hype. Yeah. And sometimes it's not. Um, in this case, I think it is. If you can in find my it. Opinion, yeah. <laughs> it actually became... Normally, the Jack Daniels limited editions sit on the shelf. You can normally find them. But the thing with this one is it's become popular with bourbon drinkers. So bourbon drinkers are right actually away, buying look at the this. color difference, man. Yeah, there's a there's it's definitely darker. And this one was I'm gonna pour it a little bit. That <laughs> you can just pour it back. Shit. It's all alcohol. <laughs> the uh so this one was um the Oh 
Yeah, the, that's Jack. Yep. <laughs> that's why I was oh, like, oh, I may skip it. Oh, um, it's like back of your throat. Ugh. Oh, mm. God. Let me do this. Get it out of the way. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I get that. That's why I wanted to pass. I get the bananas in there, but, but not bananas. really. Bananas. Yeah, but that's a bananas. tasting note in a lot of the Jack Daniels oh, yeah. high proof single barrels. It is a banana, yeah. yeah. Okay. And I think it comes so I, I just tried this one because I think I finished the Jack before everybody else and bananas even more present. Because to me, I, I tried I oh, already already bad. had the, the Jack Daniels and I've never ever <clears throat> been a fan of Jack Daniels. So I already knew I was gonna So what'd do. you think of this one? Um <clears throat> I didn't like it as much. You didn't like so, this as much as the regular? No, first of all, like <laughs> so so to me, I'm not really a big Jack Daniels fan. So but if it's but even at least, more Jack Daniels, it's so, probably yeah. All the notes <laughs> when they're like put on blast, oh, put on Jesus. tin. I did. I did not like this. See, I liked. Well, I liked it the last time I tasted it. That's a that's a permanent. It's mark. just like this is like, to me. So this is, is higher proof than uh, standard Jack because uh, standard Jack's uh, eighty, right? Yeah, yeah, eighty. And this is going to be a hundred. Mm. This was just like a party in my mouth. It's smooth. Is what it See, was. It was like I like that. It's a lot you like smoother. that? I, I see, yeah, there's a lot going on. There's a yeah. lot going well, on in it. Yeah. Complexity. Yeah. So this one's bottled at 100 proof, but it also went into the barrel mm. at 100 proof. So whenever they aged it, it probably wow. lost water mm. yeah, and gained yeah. in proof, mm -hmm. but probably by not a lot for them to have to water it back down. So it retains a lot of its original yeah. character. Wow. Register your bottle at Jack Daniels. What do you do, do, what, 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 what do, you do when you finish it? I don't is know. It, this bottle is registered. Jack so a limited edition from Jack Daniels, I'm assuming, is 20,000 bottles or more because this oh. is bottle number 20,459. That's not very limited. That seems low for them, actually. Yeah. Right? I would think it'd be higher. Maybe like 30,000. Oh, yeah. Bottles. They limited. Yeah. There's some bourbons they've had that are like 30, 40,000. Like, okay. But I mean, considering that that's the number one oh, whiskey in the world, they make millions of them. I mean, I put year. it just right below benchmark. <laughs> I think you, you put know. it above the 1835. Definitely. Yeah, I did not like that. I mean, really? it is, you think Jack was better than McCormick? Reason. Jack, I mean, a Jack. Yeah. And Coke, I don't know. Man. I didn't, a Jack and I didn't Coke like is it. Great. At all. I don't. I don't. I'm not a Jack fan. Mm -hmm. I didn't like, like it. I've. I tried it a long time ago, and uh, I mean, this just speaks to my own personal taste, yeah. right? Because like I like scotches a little more because you know I like a little bit more smoky flavor. I like less sweetness, right? I'm not a big fan of sweet. So some of these, to me, where it's ranked lower. Just has a big sweet note. I didn't and like then, it. And then it's like the bananas you're talking mm. about. I hate. <laughs> well, <laughs> so it's like see, I like bananas, but I hate the banana like note exactly, in yeah. uh, in whiskey. <laughs> and mm. some of the ones that have the higher uh, malted barley content, I've mm -hmm. noticed that's always a thing with this. The Barton stuff, seventeen ninety two. Yeah, yeah. It, it's always. I like it, it though. I like, like bananas. Yeah, stuff. see, and that's the difference between yeah. everybody's palate. You know what I mean? Like everybody has their own thing. Um, to me, so far, the benchmark is still my favorite. Yeah, wow. to as like, far as like a whiskey to throw back. Considering yeah. that we just tried the, the yeah, Jack I, Daniels Heritage, I liked I and liked, you liked the benchmark, benchmark more. You know, <laughs> that's just me personally. More than the yeah, yeah, yeah me the, too. That yeah. single barrel, the Jack Daniels Reserve. I wouldn't was sit just, and drink that. All it was night. like a, it's like a. I wouldn't sit and drink benchmark. Like a all sweet night. bomb, like a like a complex sweet yeah. bomb. You know, it was like I liked it. It was like uh, freaking deep fried plantains. <laughs> okay, that that's. Uh, I was about to say that actually sounds. Tastier, it's pretty tasty, but, yeah. Put yeah. some ice cream on that shit. Mm. Yeah, I love That's some just me, though. <laughs> mm. I'm, I'm waiting to get to... Uh, I think I think we I can try already... this call yet, man. Well, we got a few let's more. Let's keep um, slow, slow yeah. playing. Oh. Are, we, are, we, are we moving on? So let's move on. Let's, let's do Jim next because we just said Jack. So okay. it's like the biggest competitor, I guess, would be the natural way to go. So, okay. So let, let's talk about this real quick. Um, what's Jack Daniels? What's a fifth of Jack? 20 bucks? I just saw it today in the Probably store for twenty two dollars. Twenty two. But I think that was on sale. I've been seeing it for like, it like twenty five. Okay. Yeah. The heritage about is about sixty. So okay. would you say that the heritage is well three times as good as the standard Jack? It's three times as complex. Okay. I, you know. I don't I don't I mean no, you didn't I, like it. I like the so. standard better than the than the other one. Okay. You know? And that happens. Yeah. So, yeah. so I'm curious if it'll happen that, again. And that's just to show, you know, a lot some guys um they always go, you know, they hear about a certain bottle or something and they're like, dead set, man, I got to go yeah. get it, you know. But you kind of have, you got to have like a, a, point, a point of reference. Mm. So, I mean, if you taste Jack and you're like, man, I don't like Jack already, why would you go and 
buy a, a limited right. edition of Jack. Mm-hmm. You know, right, right some people are bat. like clout chasers you mm-hmm. know what I mean and this industry mm-hmm. has a lot of like uh, hype in it you know? yeah. it's, 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 it's it, FOMO but yeah, it's, FOMO. it's also it's, it's also rampant. people that Absolutely. like uh, people that like are they, they get caught up by the brand you know and like maybe somebody like that's never really learned anything about whiskey will just say oh I'm gonna get the limited edition like, for sure like Darla loves Jack Daniels I'm gonna get her the limited edition well, when, when somebody yeah. gets into bourbon usually they'll look up like you know <laughs> limited bourbons or rare bourbons and the first names are gonna pop up or the Pappy. whole Buffalo Trace right, MD right. collection and Pappy Van Winkles. Yeah. So then they're like, oh, I'm going to try to get one of these. It and looks then they good get their on the shelf. Because it it's good. not on the shelf. Yeah. You know, and uh, so then they, you just you just start moving kind of down the rank of what can I get. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's where you see the we'll talk. Yeah, stuff. we could talk a little bit. Yeah, because we got to take a break here, yeah. here soon. Yeah, we'll keep doing Do you want to take the break now and then just come back and, yeah. and hit these? Yeah, let's do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Because okay. we're about halfway through, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's take our break. See you on the break. All right, guys. Well, this is our first break in the episode, so this is a time for us to uh, share some love with with one of our biggest sponsors and someone who shares some love with us. It is is Beaumont Events. You know what I mean? It's the city, right? It's the city that we rep. Uh, I know a lot of people, you go into a convenience store, all they got is those H-Town hats, right? Yeah. A lot of Houston love. There's not really like a lot of anywhere I see like Beaumont hats. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? If you go on, uh, uh, if you go on their on their website, right? Like, what what is it, Zach? It's called Shop Beaumont. Uh, you can go to discoverbeaumont.com/shop. Uh, they also have an Instagram page at shopbmt.tx. You get all your yeah. Beaumont swags. You get uh, hats. Stickers, they got some cool t-shirts. stickers. They got like the Jefferson yeah. marquee on it. Right? I have that on my laptop. Mm-hmm. It's great. You know what I mean? Um, they got coffee mugs. They got uh, kid sizes. They got a little bit of everything. They got a little bit of everything. Rep your city. You know yeah. what I mean? If if you love Beaumont, or or just if you love our podcast. Mm-hmm. And you want to help us like do good, you know? Then rep, rep. Yeah, and I appreciate yeah, rep the prices city. are actually pretty, pretty damn decent yeah. compared to like some some other companies, I guess you could say. So, uh, you can view that merch online, like I said, at discoverbeaumont.com forward slash shop, or you can go to the Civic Center box office Monday through Friday, nine to one a.m. or nine a.m. to one p.m. Uh, they are also doing pop ups around town. They got like a little they got like little a merch van. van. Yeah. Uh, so if you follow their Instagram, like I said, shopbmt.tx. If you go there, you can find out where they're going to be. And, you know, what their main thing is, is doing events and putting on cool stuff in downtown Beaumont. Sure. So discoverbeaumont.com for their events. And, uh, yeah. Get you a sweet dad hat. Yeah. yeah Let's that's, get that's back to this song. episode and keep on drinking some whiskey with the Gulf Coast Spirit Society. Huh. Are we back? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're back. We're back from break. And we're ready to drink some more spirits. Ready to drink some more whiskey. I'm in high spirits. Are you? I'm full of spirits. I am too. You know, Dude, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, yeah. it's the holidays, man. We got Christmas coming up. Yeah. I already bought all my gifts. Um, oh, yeah? Got a room full of friends, full of libations. Yeah. Filled up my water. Man, it made <laughs> me feel like I should have brought I'm ready a, a Thomas Handy. Because to me, Thomas Handy tastes like the holidays. What's Thomas Handy? It's a it's a rye whiskey. whiskey. It's a real limited one, but man, it it tastes like Christmas and Thanksgiving in a bottle. We'll have to do a rye whiskey yeah, one. I one think time. so too. We yeah. were talking about that yeah. today. Yeah, we kind of we kind of talked before we got started. We were talking about like because we hadn't done this in a while, so we're gonna try to start coming at y'all. Uh, maybe on the holidays, more seasonal holidays. holidays. So maybe we, yeah. maybe an Irish thing for in March and some kind of definitely Cinco de, maybe Cinco de Mayo tequila. tequilas. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, but for now we're gonna get back to this one, and right. uh, we're gonna blast through uh, the remaining like calls, you know, the the remaining like mid shelves, mm-hmm. uh, baseline, not premium type stuff, you know. All right. What's up next? We got Evan Williams. We have. So uh, we finished. We just tasted the number one whiskey. Is that? Yeah. The, so that's this the number is two. This is the number one oh. bourbon. Number one bourbon in yes. the world. The number one selling Beam. bourbon. Yeah, number one selling bourbon in the world. Jim whereas whereas uh, Jack was the number one whiskey. So now we get to see who's better. Jim I don't know or Jack. why I always thought Jack Daniels was bourbon. That's weird. It, it is, it man. Technically, <laughs> it's just that last process. I def- definitely didn't know it from the taste because I didn't know shit. So it's like, uh, yeah. I, to me, I think that uh, that Lincoln County process that makes it a Tennessee whiskey. I think it makes some taste 
bad. It's uh, an extra step that's unnecessary. Well, because then back when, <laughs> even when I was a Jack drinker back in the day, um, so Gentleman Jack, they go through that process a second time. And to me, I always liked regular Jack better than Gentleman Jack because it tastes more Gentleman Jack. Yeah. Yeah. harsh. That, Even that, though it's that supposed that to taste to, more mellow. Yeah, that speaks to the other, the single barrel, the special reserve that we tried, and I didn't like Dude, it. Dude, yeah. I like a Jim Beam, man. That doesn't, Jim that's, it's not offensive. It's a, it's not a, it's not the greatest, but man, it's it's good. I mean, we're in the, we're in the part of this list that these are standards. Mm. They're not going to, mm-hmm. I mean, they're not going to be all like the, super yeah. offensive. All right. You know? So Jim Beam's cheaper than Jack. Oh? Generally. I, uh, white label. I, yeah, I think we label. finally knocked out Benchmark. You think you so? Think, yeah. You think so? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I, I mean, that's an that. easy drink. I mean, I I still like Benchmark because I like its finish yeah. better, uh, and it, it feels like the the that middle of the the tongue well, kind of thing. I is will like, say this: it's, it's better. Even though I do like the Jim Beam more, I don't like it twice as much. More exactly. Benchmark. Think, yeah. That's the thing too. Yeah. It's like this is like value. It's as weird well. that we're talking value with like. Ten dollars here, but yeah. That, you know, but, I mean, it is. Yeah, no, so, yeah. The thing that if we've you're buying been, in bulk, you know, the thing that we've kind of, <laughs> yeah, hey, you just start selling that at Sam's. <laughs> this the bourbons that we've geeked out together about lately mm-hmm. have been these like, you know, value pours. <clears throat> yeah, bottom shelfers that that are are not necessarily good. bottom yeah. shelf, but um, I mean, close to it that yeah. we found really good value in. What if we? What if we? I think we do this. Ah, Tie? okay. You know, value well, counts for a value? lot. Yeah, it counts for okay, a lot. Okay. You know, so this like, isn't strictly taste. Oh, value you know? figures into my like well, yeah. reviews yeah. and that, rankings. Uh, when you do your tier, I, well, yeah. it usually well, is. When we, we, do might, our tier. we might actually yeah. turn this into a tier. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we can. Maybe we can have a final tier that we lay there out. There you go. We're not doing it like a standard tier list, but sure. Or maybe I could do it after the fact. I don't know. Yeah. We have, we're, it's coming out like this is one of the, the first episodes we'll have coming out in like three days. If you're watching. All right. So it's, we're kind of in the speed round, right? Yeah. All right. So uh, we'll fix this so we had the number one selling bourbon mm-hmm. in the world. This is the number, the two, number two selling, selling bourbon, bourbon in the world. Evan Williams. Evan Williams Black Label. I'm familiar, and it's it's definitely cheaper than Jim, right? It's I think it's another ten dollar. Yeah, yeah uh, it's, it's pretty fifth. cheap. I will say this, man. Uh, the white label Evan Williams, that the bottled and bond, I, it's like thirteen bucks, mm. and it's really good, man. And, and that's another thing. What was bottled and bond again? Paul. Hunter proof, at least four years. Like <coughs> um, and then at least four. So those are the regulations. Uh, I don't remember what what it's called, what regulation it is. But what's well, the Bottled and Bond Act, right? Yeah. So essentially, when people were flavoring it with like bourbon with tobacco and putting like well, turpentine in it and all spit, that, actually, yeah. which are actually our, our U.S. government did. So yeah, they poisoned the whiskey. So well, they came up with the Bottled and Bond Act, which basically gave regulations. Um, so I would I would go for, as far as to say that anything labeled bottled and bond is going to be at least decent. Mm, yeah. yeah, you know it's four year bourbon, hundred proof, hundred proof. Mm. Yeah, so at, at minimum a four year bourbon. So uh, and that's generally more expensive or less because you said some it was cheaper, of it's cheap, man. I mean, bu- yeah, Evan Williams White Labels, pro- yeah. it's like thirteen bucks a fifth, hmm. and it's bottled and bond. Hmm. Yeah, and, oh. and and so that over there is how much is that? Well, this H. Taylor Small, but both oh, of those are actually bottom of bonds right there. I think mm-hmm. I think this kicks benchmark out. Yeah. What do you think? Being a Heaven Hill fan. So this is from Heaven Hill Distillery, same ones that make mm-hmm. Elijah Craig and. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's my wheelhouse right there. Yeah. Like it's got it's oh, got for sure. it's got what I look for in a yeah for sure. same it's got what I look for in like a whiskey. Yeah, dude, I can't. That, I can't that go nice, with that. So, nice uh, saying that, like, I I agree with you guys because, you know, this mm. is this is Jim Beam, right? And because mm-hmm. Jim Beam is like twenty, uh, and Evan Williams is even cheaper. Mm-hmm. Evan Williams is like the cheaper of of the two. I'm putting it firmly up here, right? For sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, with with everything put in there, taste and value and and everything. And 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 that's what I'm saying. For for four bucks more, yeah, you can get the bottled and bond version of that, which is. Four year old hundred proof. I think right. that's only eighty or eighty six. Eighty six, I think. And uh yeah, you know, a really solid bur- and that's a solid bourbon right there. Sorry, I'm trying to get it no, 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 lined up good. for All right, viewing well, pleasure. Let's go ahead and take this wax. I can't believe eighteen thirty five. Yeah, take so the special wax off, man. Yeah, we're, so, we're going to break into this way up. No, what were you talking about earlier about uh how fancy the wax looked or something? Um, I I feel like 
this is going to be a theme <clears throat> of this episode too is like dispelling uh, your preconceived notions about what makes something special, right? Yeah. And when it comes to any of these liquids that we're drinking, really, the only thing that should really count is like what's in the bottle. Mm. Sure. But that's yeah. not the way our brain works. Our brain works Correct. where we're constantly… I'm a sucker for an awesome yeah, label. Hell yeah. And like we're an constantly label, like, like pre-prepping what we're going to do. So if you get a nice like… It was sticky. …handmade looking thing like this with a, with a really nice label because Maker's Mark, they're on top of their bottling. Mm -hmm. They really are. It's real uh, wax. Like, you know, forever, man, all they ever made was that. Yeah. They just now recently in the last, well, I don't know what, Make it special less than 10 years, stuff? actually uh, expanded their, their product line. So uh, I just wanted to like kind of bring that up and how this is in the same wheelhouse as these. Mm -hmm. And they've kind of come well, on the scene in the last 20 years, really, makers, right? And is that like 25, 30? For a yeah, fifth? I think it, it's, it's, it's a little a, bit higher. Yeah, it's a, more out there. But I mean, those are, <clears throat> even those, those minis are, are hand waxed. Right. Mm. Which, I mean, it speaks to a quality. Yeah. And I think that's what we, and they've, that's what we I don't think. Know if and if they patent, take that much time to do that. I don't know if they have a patent or what, but yes. I know that they, yeah, they have sued a trademark. people over anyone that, that drips wax. You can wax your bottle. You just but you can't, can't have it drip. You can't like have that. it drip. Yeah. And everyone is unique like a special snowflake. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, they've... they've uh, that's crazy. How can you license a drip? You, well, they've can, trademarked they dripping wax on a bottle. They have sent that's cease crazy. and desist yeah. letters Two other distilleries. Yeah, I mean, how, how can distillery? How, can Disney, how yeah. can Disney trademark three concentric circles? Shh, 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 oh yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. We didn't, sorry. Yeah, bring that up. Overlords. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're trying I, to get sponsorships. Damn it, Disney Plus. Yeah, I mean, uh, everybody. Disney, 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 Disney Plus. We're gonna see you right next to the Mandalorian. Uh, <laughs> go see, go see Frozen awesome. Two out this yes. weekend. Yes. New, <laughs> new episode of Mandalorian on Disney Plus. Yeah, everyone's today. Tonight. Yep. Today. Yeah. Everyone's yep. tonight. Well, they sent it out early. Yep. Came out today. <gasps> they sent it out early. It yep. came out last night. I love. Yeah. I love yeah. the new Watching age. That tonight. I love this and, day and the age. Masked Singer. Like they actually care about us. Like <laughs> yeah. streaming service. Fuck you, cable streaming service. Really, I really like. I really like the smell. So far, man. I'm Maker, just make, not a fan I've of makers. always no. had a mixed opinion Aren't about makers because sometimes, like, I, I think it's all the bottle. Like the, bo I look at that bottle, I'm like, no, that's a good whiskey. That looks I, good. You're like, you know, I'm not falling no matter for, for that. No yeah. matter how I've drank that fucking whiskey for so long, and it's still the same thing. It's yeah. like I don't order it, but like, ah, <clears> if I'm not feeling like any of these other ones, I'm okay, like, so, so this is a weeded so this is, bourbon yeah. too. It's a he's it's a weeded bourbon. So weeded? yeah, and there's some like wheat, like yeah. Weeded. So bourbon has a uses a, generally uses a three grains, corn, uh, malted barley, malted and then barley and uh, what they call a flavoring grain, which is either usually rye or wheat. <clears throat> this one uses wheat, um, like some other famous ones, Pappy Van Winkle, Weller's. Uh, okay, use wheat. okay, I see a fam that kind of taste of familiarity. There's there. some uh, some lore, and that's probably why it's a lighter color. Like that. that. Uh, some stories out there that say that the recipe for Maker's Mark was given to Bill Samuels by Pappy by Pappy Van Winkle, oh. but it doesn't taste like it at all. Man. Mm, it's <laughs> it's okay. I mean, compared to these, it's I always get like this industrial, exactly like, yeah. lubricant <laughs> smell with, <laughs> with 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 Maker's. Yeah, I've just never been like much a, of a Maker's fan. Maker's cast train uh, is is pretty decent. Hmm. And some of the makers uh, store picks, but uh, I don't hate it. Mm -hmm. But no, it's, do you like Evan Williams? I, don't, I think I like the Evan Williams better. Yeah, mm -hmm. but oh, we'll yeah. see. I think I do like it better than the Benchmark. You think it's better than Benchmark? I don't. I don't hate this either. Mm -mm. But yeah. how much is at it the cost? price? I know mm -hmm. this is mm -hmm. compared. Is it really expensive? You could buy four Benchmarks. Really? Okay, so I, it's, it's more actually, expensive than Evan Williams. It's I, the most expensive oh, yeah, one yeah. of that. This bunch. is the most expensive mm -hmm. one. Oh, put it. No, we'll put it. I mean, I would say that puts it. Tastes good though. Even right, it tastes good. I don't know. I I kind of but if like, you're doing this value, is S -tier, do you this put is it below benchmark? I think I would. Honestly. Oh yeah, I think was I it four times Jack? better than? Is it four times better than benchmark? I don't think it is. I don't think yeah, it how is much? Either. I, I think, think it's it thirty five for a fifth, no. right? Thirty five. Or is it thirty? Are you serious? For, for makers? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I think I think that's a hard pass for me. See, I think it's definitely above Jack, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I like it better than Jack. But I'm, not honestly, but I like the value. Value wise, man, I don't even know if it would even so, be above Jack. Well, I didn't. I didn't like the Jack. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I, I would see. say makers is because I think we're looking at A tier, B tier. This is C tier. Well, this is this is F. <laughs> but, uh, that's a given. But yeah. Oh, never mind. I was I wrong. 
Isn't it like 25 yeah, or 30? It's, it's 25. See, and okay, I, I'm, look, 25. I'm looking at it right now, and it's like I kind of feel bad for the Seagrams because it's like its only use is for a 7-7, seven and seven, yeah. and it's really good because it's the only thing you can drink with a 7-7, seven and seven, you know? I mean, not really, but... That's called... Well, no, uh, it is, and it wouldn't be a 7-7. A, seven and a seven. whiskey and 7. Yeah, it's, whiskey and 7. You know, like... <laughs> that's its limited use, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, right. all those I things. It's claim to fame. I think, I think 1835 should be behind it, but I'm just... It's hey, I, I, keep, keep throwing it down the line. Yeah, I'm, fine so with, I'm fine with kicking it down the street. I didn't like it, man. <laughs> All right. Yeah. To me, it, it, I like a little shifting after the fact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Reassessing. This, <laughs> this is kind of where it comes from. To me, is um, you know what? Actually, let's let's just go ahead and get do what Wild Turkey. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. And then I'll explain. We saved this for the last because, in my opinion, it, I think it's your best bang for your buck as far as flavor, and what you're getting, and, and just a good bourbon, right. man. And I mean, brewery. it's 101 yeah. proof. I don't know what the age is. Non age stated. It used to be eight years old. Yeah. And and some of it was twelve years old. And Wild Turkey has like a, a rock and roll history too. You know, Leonard Skinner and all them guys. They were- yeah, right, man. And now they got a, uh, they got a uh, Matthew all right, McConaughey. All right, all right. He oh, really? is the, Wild Turkey is a spokesman. He is their no. He is their um, oh, Texas what's his representative his ambassador. No, he's, no, he's got yeah, a title. He's like, he's it, it's it's a brand ambassador, so, but they they it's called something else. But he's creative essentially director. Yeah, something. creative director. Oh, he's yeah. the creative director. Really? Yeah. He's like, I'm going to teach turkey. you how to he sell even cars, has, He even has a YouTube <laughs> series on the Wild Turkey channel. He has his own Wild the, Turkey, Long Branch. Yeah, that's he. He was his, he assisted in uh, hey man, creating that. It has God like bless him. Mesquite. Hey man, it's mesquite. I've been, a, I've been a fan Texas of McConaughey boy. since he got arrested for smoking weed and playing bongos naked. naked so it's yeah. like, oh, that's got to count for something. And now mm-hmm. he's, a, he's a professor at UT. Really? Yeah, he's in the communications it's not department. Not really a professor. He's well, a communications he's professor. He's a creative director of Wild Turkey. Yeah. So that counts for something. Good for him. So now uh, let's move into this is the last call, and I'll tell you what, man. I get this let's regularly say, like, every this time I go. Standards, you know, every yeah. time I go to my little watering hole down the mm-hmm. street from my house, and it's five fifty for a single. So that's not terrible, right? And really I is. actually keep a handle on hand and just refill Me this. Me too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a really? good call. That's <laughs> a good call. Oh, and carry around this. Yeah. Well, well it's, it's just easier to top pour off your, than right. that yeah. stupid handle you're trying to. Yeah, I agree with that. That's, that's so good. we'll we'll talk about this one, and then we'll we'll do some comparisons with yeah. uh, to say you know there's some limiteds that are around. They cost a lot of money. Sometimes they're hard to get. Sometimes they're not. But to to stick with the is it this many times better mm-hmm. theme, we'll compare Wild Turkey 101 with Wild Turkey Decades. Okay. 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 Yeah. Which is a it's a li- it's a limited edition. It's a blend of ten and twenty year. Yeah, this is a blend of 20, so 10 turkey. and 20 year wild turkey. Oh, we're going to do a compare? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Damn, I should have sported mine. Ah, yeah. Sorry. They go, and that actually comes in a box. Whenever on I drink whiskey. Okay, so like, just. So yeah, just let's full, talk about the branding well, and stuff. Full, too. full disclosure, whenever I drink whiskey, I knew, normally just drink it from the bottle. So it's like, you know, I'm in a. This is a different. I'm not used to the. Pouring, pouring. <laughs> it in my mouth. Pouring it in your mouth. And I gauge that with my tongue. Oh, I like that top, man. I like these yeah, tops. Let's talk like, about, what do you think about the, the, the packaging there, Aaron? Um, <clears throat> that so, actually comes in a really nice oh, line yeah. box. Has so the, the packaging the is very it. superior because it's a uh, decanter. It it's like premium, a decanter right? shaped. Uh, and when you hold it in your hand. Crafted with conviction. It, like, it yeah, a, look, it at a, the, look at the bottom of that yeah. bottle compared to the bottom of this bottle. Right. Look how much glass is on it. It's a lot of glass. And it... uh. Uh, just the packaging screams quality because it the shape of it, it feels like you're holding like a, a crystal decanter. Oh, like wow. Put oh, yeah, look yeah. at that embossed turkey on there, um, too. Yeah, it's yeah. Like a thick old bottom in there. Yeah, yeah the embossed turkey. It's and my then, type. And then so, the cork top is weighted. Mm, you know, in our brains, it's a good are feel. meant to say like, that's we use like watches yeah, and speakers. Well yeah. That's my favorite quote from a movie, so, Jurassic Park. Is something like, you are said they heavy? Earlier. Then they're expensive. Put them back. Yeah. <laughs> something that you said earlier uh, caught my attention, which is... Should the packaging oh, weigh into the value, <laughs> right? Or is it just the liquid that's inside? Yeah, yeah. I like mean, how how much does, does this play Ooh. into your perception of value? That smells good. Oh, the decades. Yeah, you know. Um, and at the end of the day, like, uh, yeah, perception is reality, right? And if if looking at this bottle and everything, and it, it tricks us to like, it it winds us up to go like, I'm about to have a great experience, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then we think we have Placebo. a better experience. Yeah, yeah. I mean that. That's reality. Yeah, you know what I mean, like everything yeah. at the end of the day is experience. Like the package, the opening, 
That's why uh, on YouTube, some of the most popular things are like unboxing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, packaging mm-hmm. play, plays a big deal. That's yeah. a lot of people's I whole agree. career. Um, but there's some people that are hard nosed, like, oh man, you know, yeah. I don't care what comes in as long as it's good. And that's a, that's a perfectly fine mm-hmm. way to do it because they're not going to get caught up in that. Yeah. So that's their reality it, yeah. is we, the liquid. We try not to yeah, at it's, this point. It's an individual one on one's not bad. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll go ahead and draw the one on one first. One on one's not bad. Uh, uh, hits you in the face. Uh, it's what I've found with all these, mm. like going through the whiskeys as we have and talking about Dude. them. It seems like some of them put oh, yeah. up this barrier right here oh, okay. that I have to push through to drink it. You know, like it's so much, it's so much up front mm-hmm. that you have to bust through that, and then afterwards, it's usually pretty. Nice. Or when you're when you're nosing it, uh, do you keep your mouth open? I don't know. Because if you don't, you <laughs> you uh, get. I'm the rat watch, watch me next time. I have to you do you it. get much more of that alcohol vapor if you just keep. You don't uh, have. Don't breathe in through open? your mouth. Just keep it. Open. Just keep it open. Breathe. You don't get the brunt of okay. the alcohol vapor. Okay. Hmm. It's like not a sip. It's just cool like trick. pour. You know. So decades. Kind of like sit so in. So right between. away, uh, man, decades. Yeah. Right away, I can say that. Out of that whole lineup, the wild turkey yeah, for me, for that. sure. I agree too. It's also, I mean, it is. And this it is, is a about, higher proof. This is about you know, eighteen bucks mm-hmm. for yeah. a, for a fit. Wild turkey. Well, wins. depends on where you buy it. I'll Where'd you get up. it for eighteen? Uh, I can't say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My only I don't just, think I've seen it over twenty bucks. So I've usually really? seen it for nineteen. Yeah, it's closer it to up. Yeah. It's it closer to twenty five at in most yeah. local places. Twenty five. That's twenty five. Wow. So this is the same price as Makers. It's generally the same price as Jack and cheaper than Makers. I've seen it for yeah. uh, like nineteen ninety nine on so sale yeah. a lot of times. It just depends on um, where. See, I was looking up that so Makers price on Total Wine. I don't know so. about. Okay, so the thing is, is like it's really good, but I don't know about putting it above Evan Williams. But I think this is this is an A tier here, right? I to me, I'd put it above Evan Williams just I, because we haven't asked past this with some of these other ones. But but I mean, it costs twice as much as Evan Williams. So is it twice yeah, that's as good? True. Uh, yeah. So I if mean, we're, if we're taking value, it's definitely into better, yeah. better than better than it's, Beam and better than Benchmark. I mean, it's definitely better than Evan Williams. But is it twice as good? Twice as mm, yeah, that's true. That's true. Now the law of diminishing returns applies, but yeah, still. Yeah. So same, same. We'll leave them there for now. I would say at least equal. I mean, I would at least say side equal. by side. Yeah, yeah side, sure. from side by side. Side by side. Up okay. front. So you already had? The, did you have the decades? No, I haven't actually. I haven't tried that yet. <clears throat> Zach, what'd you think of the decades? I didn't like it. It had like that that peatiness. No, I know really? there's probably not any peat in it. No, but I don't know what <laughs> it is. That's known as it's, the turkey funk. The turkey. It's, it's it's like I don't know what to call it. It's like it, it has this weird like kind of smoky flavor that I just don't. It's the barrel char. Yeah. From okay. The, so from yeah. That Twenty year old. Yeah, the older Some barrel. Some of them are a lot more pronounced, and I just don't like that. I don't like that that taste. It's good though. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a good it whiskey. definitely has a, mm-hmm. an older oak flavor to it for yeah. sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. kind of like stout oh, burn. Too. I like it, man. Like I mean, kind of like a little tanniny, kind of like, like a little, little bit, little slightly like, like sour at the end type of yeah, thing. He, he yeah, he likes the super dry. Yeah, yeah. yeah you were honestly. You were um, so with the decades, to me, I could tell that I would really like this with water. Okay. Um, I drink. I drink a lot of. I drink a lot of my whiskeys with water. No, no, that would make it a little let's better. Let's keep this, because into, it, cons- it keep this in mind. Right we just jumped up about twenty proof yeah. from all the other stuff. For we, sure. We yeah, had. it is strong. That's what I'm saying yeah. too. It's it's, it's yeah, strong. Yeah, add a couple of drops of water. It's, sometimes it's it really profile, will yeah, do and something. Like yeah. Open it up. And, mm-hmm. um, because I've never I've never been one of those. I mean, that's that's a whole thing too. Is if we're talking about the bottom of this list and we're talking about. What you're actually going to do, like you're going to put it in a Coke, you're going to put it in mm-hmm. uh, Seven Up or something. What I would do with this is I would put it on water, like yeah, you know, yeah. like like a Scotch or something. Okay. Just to and tone I think down I a little of the burn, it but that it still yeah. retains. So is yeah. money not not being an object here? Where would that fall in there? Think? I still think I like the original Turkey better. Okay. Um, okay. I think I like the standard better than the. Okay. So I'm t- so I'm, it would it would be below Wild Turkey, and that's before you even include price. Um. To me, okay. unless 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 I tried it like with would you, like I, 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 but, it's, but you I could kinda, certainly say it's not five times better than one hundred one. Hmm. No, it's not five times it's better than one hundred one. Costs five times as yeah. much. Yeah. Oh, it does cost yeah. five times as much. I like it, and I like all those flavor profiles. It's I like very I like what you said about putting some water in it. That would probably I think be it, a lot mm-hmm. better. Like, if I me. drank, th- if I tried it in the first time, and I did this, my mind immediately goes to like, ah, oh, I need to put this with some water. Mm-hmm. You know, but but I mean, you were saying earlier. Yeah. Um, so the packaging is classy, yeah. mm. you know, nice heft, you know. They even put a little wood, like, over yeah, the edge. Yeah, like an inlay. All these little details. It but looks it, good on the, the shelf. But at the end of the day, it's bourbon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And 
it's made in the exact same place. It's mm -hmm. pretty close to the same proof. It's going to be treated differently. Yeah. You know, it, it takes more years but to get this out. Yeah. 20, 25 bucks. Uh, so like 100, 100 to 125. Yeah. No, Jeez. 125 to 150. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Wow. I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. no, and don't get me wrong. It is tasty. Like, sure. I think it's really tasty. But I mean, um, but that's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah. for me, it's How not so much about it? like, um, damn, I spent a lot of the, on this and, yeah. and, I, and I try to like grade it on a curve. No, it's to me at the end of the day, it's about what's, it's about inside. what's inside. That's, yeah. that's what, but this is one that you would buy. You wouldn't drink it often. But it looks good on the shelf. You it's know. a good gift, you it's know. It's a good gift. Yeah. It be a good gift. Like, yeah. there's value in that. Like, Honestly, I and think... And it's good. It's a good whiskey. It's a, it's a it's a solid whiskey, but to yeah. me, I think it, it, it um, it's actually more... Um, it's more valuable as it, as as it looks. A, or no, <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I think it's more uh, like as a gift or something, because mm. it's yeah. really nice and all that. But if I'm just going to drink, I'm hitting this. Man. Absolutely, yep. yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and then, too, I mean, we're kind of grading these in, in different things. Uh, right now, we seem to be, like, grading them on what their purpose is, mm -hmm. what their value is, and all that stuff. So, we're, it's kind of like a general overview. And with that, I mean, it's got to it's fall behind. To yeah. Me. It's got to fall behind. How much money so, are you going to spend on it? Say, yeah. yeah. Yeah, at 150 bucks. Yeah. The, honestly, man, it'd be… In the Jack Makers range. Yeah. It'd be around yeah. Makers because Makers is down there for the same reason. Yeah, because it's hard. I, it's good, but it's too I always expensive. judge yeah. off of flavor to flavor yeah. first. No, but, but, but then at the same time, got to say take, you were going to give that to somebody as a account. gift. Mm -hmm. You know, as a gift, they'd yeah. look at it and be like, "Oh man, this is oh, yeah. awesome!" And it might, you me. might yeah. get the little Jedi mind trick, yeah, mm -hmm. and be like, "This is going to taste awesome." Especially if if you're new to the game, or maybe you just discovered Wild Turkey, mm -hmm. and then with all of that in play, it it might become your favorite because you've kind of convinced yourself that it is and. Then I mean that's fine. That's that's you. That's that's your journey. Yep. You know, um, but yeah, that's cool. I, I like I like I like that. I like that head to head. That was yeah. a really that was a really cool one. Yeah, because you know? they have similar notes, but one is yeah. Well, I mean they're yeah. almost the exact same thing. Yeah, <clears throat> I think this is 101 proof. This might be 103. Mm -hmm. Three, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. this is a blend of 10 year and 20 year, and this is a was un eight? unaged stated, so eight? it could be anywhere. Usually about eight is and what. Yeah. Honestly, right? yeah. like what you were talking about with the, uh, with the with the oak. <laughs> you know, I actually, you know, we were talking about this the other day. I I think the 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 sweet spot mm -hmm. for bourbon really is that kind of like eight to yeah, twelve. Yeah, and it really depends here. on the yeah. brand too. Yeah. I don't know if it's the yeast or the recipes or. I what, think but weed it can stand say, a little like, more Jim age, Beam, but yeah. I think you know. Booker's, which is six to yeah. eight, man, I think that's the sweet spot for for Jim Beam. I agree, and a lot of times, some of the, I mean, it depends on your taste too, but some sometimes the super aged ones will just be a super oak bomb. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you know, there, there's gonna be something yeah, there that I makes hate it. That. There's gonna be but something take that's a, take like a weeded, say like know? a like a Weller. I mean, I think twelve is probably right. Yeah, the sweet spot. weeded I love actually yeah. does not. So Makers is generally six years. Yeah. And to me, weed it doesn't gain complexity till it gets like 10, yeah. 12 yeah. years. Well, that's why the, to me, like what stands out in front with the makers is like a lot of its sweetness. It, yeah. it seems to be unbalanced to me compared to some mm -hmm. of the others. You know, and I, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. So let's, uh, what head to head you want to go to? Brown Foreman next? Yeah, we can yeah. do that. All right. So <laughs> the next one's going to be, these are both Brown Foreman products, which means they're the same recipe. This is early times bottled and bond. I think this came out last year. They kind of reintroduced it. And this is old for Forrester Birthday Bourbon. I don't remember what year this one is, but it's it's uh, allocated. It's um a, it's released once a year in, around September. And it's the old Forrester. Yeah, 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 the yeah, birthday. Yeah. And it's it's really it's pretty hard to find, man. Um it's so usually we, limited to, to like uh, eleven is, thousand bottles. Is it worth it? waiting in, in line or 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 can you just, uh, would you just go and pick this up because it's a, it's sitting on the shelf? Hmm. <clears throat> now, and again, presentation, man. The bottle. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a good looking cool. bottle. Yeah. And again, the early times only comes in a, in a liter bottle. Right. So I mean, yeah. that's what, 25 bucks? 25 bucks. For a liter. For a liter of 100, 100 proof, proof bottled and bond. Yeah. This is just a 750, right? Yep. That's a 750 that normally runs up right around 100 bucks also. Let's say 90 to so about 120. That one is like, it's special, but if you know when and where to look, you can get it. Man, it used to be year. that way, but 
They it, release it's it once even a year, harder, but it's yeah. really hard. Like this year's release, I, I haven't even, I haven't even. I mean, I tasted one in Kentucky, but I haven't seen any here in Texas that that I was able to Have buy. You, okay, so y'all been y'all y'all both been looking like doing spirits a lot of your life, at mm-hmm. least since like your twenties, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, so yeah. it's like, and you've seen the internet grow and groups and forums and all that stuff grow. Has like has like it, has that made it harder to find some of them? Absolutely, yeah. the, it's completely the, different. These than it used Facebook to be. groups. Mm-hmm. Like, ru- like eBay's ruined now. You can't go to a pawn shop and get a good deal oh, anymore. Yeah. Like it, everybody yeah. knows. Yeah. Or can an you even, antique can you even shop buy even. Yeah. Liquor off eBay? No. I didn't think no, so. No, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying like 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 yeah. it's the same thing that died off with the internet too. You can buy liquor on Amazon in Europe. Oh, yeah. Well, hmm. yeah, they're trying. Europe Jeff Europe. Bezos has invested a lot but in yeah, that But yeah, so here, the difference but, is both of these are made by the same people, same recipe. Yeah. That's a once a year release, really hard to get. This is sitting on the shelf at multiple stores in town. All right, I'm yep. gonna do. I'm gonna do early times first. And okay. Then all fours. I'm gonna do. Okay. So we're gonna start with. Old oh man, that early times. Early times. Damn. Smells good already. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. That's just. I good love bourbon. the nose that is on a that. Damn early good. Time. That is. That is just damn good bourbon. Give me that bottle. Let me see it. <laughs> Yep. How much is it? 25, 25 for, a liter. for a liter. Are you kidding for me? For a no. liter. This is 25 bucks. For, for a liter. liter. That doesn't even come in a 750. That's like off the map. That's off the map good. Damn. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a little sweet, right? No, I, I remember. But it's, so, but it's sweet like caramel brown mm-hmm. sugar. From the first episode we oh. did, I remember um, That's so good. that being it's like, good. I think early times probably was my favorite in that mm-hmm. first episode. There's a lot that was um, whiskey. Oh my god! And like when you taste it, so it's same price as Makers, yeah. same price as Jack. The Old Force is really good, and I, I love that it has this weird, um, warm feeling to it. I don't know mm. what it is. I I, it's, yeah. it's like a flavor profile or I mean, something. But right it, off the bat, I can. It's a lot oakier. <clears throat> it is a lot oakier, but it's not sour. It's not like uh, back of your tongue, like uh, tannin. It's or not tannic. five times yeah. better than the early yeah. times. Okay, hold on. Uh, oh, God. Oh, oh, the other one? Yeah. No, no, it's really, it's... It's strong. It's, it's really not. Really? This That's is lower is proof. proof. This is lower proof. The smell, yeah, no. though, dude. I'm, I'm oh. like, I'm smell-driven. Like, if I, yeah. if I... Oh, no, this is 100 proof, too. Yo, okay, right. so they're same proof. proof. Same yeah. proof. Yeah. Um, I mean, for me... Ugh. Not even money, like not even <laughs> not even money, like or value, not even money uh, or value coming. Like straight that. up head to head, taste like, for taste. I like the, I like, you like that. I like that's the, the best reaction, man. I like the times man. better. Like people that that. I like that, the times better. But don't how many know about people the hype and everything? How many people are into this bottle because they know it's hard to get birthday? They, mm-hmm. And it's only and, one time a year. <laughs> once a year, man. It's yeah, September. it's, it's on, because it's the birthday of uh, suckers, George Garvin you're a bunch Brown. Of suckers. So, <laughs> And so Ugh. that's the thing. How many people have, you know, I mean, I gone like out of their way for? But dude. I would, I would put that just above McCormick. <laughs> no, I don't know if I go that mm. far. But maybe above I this do guy. like the early times mm. better. You don't, I mean, even, really you don't even like Scotch. <laughs> maybe on the same, same as this mm. guy. So right? I've you, actually. I'm talking about man. as far as I'm our not tier. Kid. I like the old Forster birthday bourbon, but I don't like it five times better than the early times. No. No, it's good. I, I don't even um, think I like it one time better than the early times. I don't either. And, and you can't even get it. You gotta, you gotta. Yeah, and you can't even get yeah. it. And that's sitting the on the shelf. The availability is, is at, at least Now, I will caveat and say down. this is the 2015, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is 2015. Each year's mm-hmm. is a little, a little bit different, different profile. Okay. Different, different proofs, different. But, yeah. but, but um, think of it this way. Each year, this is supposed to represent the best of what they have at Brown right. Foreman right. or at Old Forester. Yeah. So, and if that's the best of what they, they have every year, that's not too This far is what they're that's, putting that's in liters good. That's a for, good whiskey. for bar. Like, it has a screw top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, yeah, push it way over. I'm putting it far out in the head. It's, dude, it's delicious, I, I love man. It's, it's far. So it's, we, I, even, I haven't talked about this as far as no. I get, but I love the mouthfeel yeah. of the early times. Yeah. yeah. Don't it's, get it confused you know with I mean? like, any other early times, okay? Okay. Oh, yeah, It's yeah. got to be the bottle, bottle and bond. It's got to yeah, be the bottle and bond. got to be oh, the yeah. bottle and bond. Oh, yeah. 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 Early yeah. times yeah. makes a blended whiskey mm-hmm. and a bourbon. Mm-hmm. And, no, yeah, bottled in bond. 
Yeah, okay. that tastes like Christmas to me. It's yeah, delicious. It's really yeah, good. It tastes like Christmas. Really yeah, good. Just, I mean, spice. it tastes like like it warm. smelled yeah. good from the start. Yeah. As soon as I as soon as I tasted it, I was like, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. And great. the old Forester has a lot of the same qualities. What uh, say it? It it should have the same flavors. It's the same whiskey. It's, like I would love that on like on, on the rocks. Maybe it's, drink, be maybe it's because I drink. Maybe because I drink water just between in the a two. rocks glass. But, mm-hmm. Just they're drinking it. Too. Yeah. No, this is a little more tannic. It's it's a lot <laughs> more oaky. Yeah. Um, Where are we gonna put? Just it? Has different flavors, man. Uh, just, uh, Value. I made a space for it right here, but it's so, you can't get it. It's so expensive. <laughs> well, I would put it out above the wild the the decades. Yeah. Because I mean, I really do think it. It's I really like the flavor on it. See, but, and, and you, but you know a balance. But, but a how balance hard out? it is to get. Dude, I probably would never stand in line well, for one of these ever again. There's, there's yeah. a balance. Now that there's a balance out. to the value. <laughs> Not only value of what you're going to pay for it. What is the value of it as a gift to somebody? Now, as a gift, you know, it's if a somebody huge would be blown value. away, oh, yeah, you know, be. that puts it past them. A whiskey lover would be blown so, away more by that than by this. So yes. that would go because you can still even find decades, yeah, decades on the shelf. On the shelf at I, I think it's places. hilarious. And let's, <laughs> let's not get caught up. <laughs> too, let's not get caught up too much in this line just right this know, moment because we're at I the know. end of this we're gonna like reevaluate. Re-evaluate. It. We're gonna, okay. Yeah, we'll reevaluate. Should with we our, go Jim Beam or our final Buffalo thoughts? Trace? Um, let's do Buffalo Trace. Right. So let's. So when we now, never now we never placed the Jack Daniel single isn't barrel. Exactly. Oh, we haven't even put, tasted it yet. So we'll pull yeah, these out yeah, this the way. Heritage. Oh, the single yeah, barrel. You did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So the this we was about that one. We get those. This is about 70, 60, 70 And I bucks, I, so. I didn't even like the taste. So the that's place. gonna go back here then. But I I mean I'm would not, you say it's below ancient age? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't say it was below oh, ancient age. Well, no, no. Let's yeah. No. Okay. So I was saying personally too. So <laughs> this is if exactly yeah. um, <clears throat> apples to apples. Yeah, it's pretty close, but um, but what we're trying to say here is this is pretty available. It's it's on the shelf for forty dollars. Colonel, about 40 yeah. Colonel you can, H. Taylor. Yeah. Okay. This it's not ridiculously expensive, but it's sixty. If well, yeah. if you get it at MSRP. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Lot, okay. There's some stores that sell it. I would say it sells that, for yeah. between sixty and a hundred bucks yeah. at its stores. Yeah. Okay. okay. And a lot of it has to do with the packaging. A lot of it, it's it's a lot of people's uh, entry into premium bourbons. It's it's collectible. It's pretty. Like we talked about earlier, the the. Um, well, I don't think we t- we said it on the show. We did. Yeah, yeah. So we'll talk about the horse. So the horse and the the cork. The, each one has a little letter in it, and it spells out Blanton's. Yeah. So you can collect all of them, and and they sell little accessories on where you can put them on. And so. A lot of people, when they first get into to premium bourbon, this is their their white whale. Oh, yeah. also, John Wick drinks Blanton's. Correct. Yeah. So that's that's a whole another added that's another, another layer, layer of, to the hype. Yeah. Does he say that in the movie? Like and, the and bar again, I don't want to shit I, on Blanton's because I think it's the damn good does. bourbon. Yeah, but it's yeah, it's good bourbon. Yeah, but the hype that it gets on the on is, the Facebook pages mm-hmm, and and mm-hmm. yeah. everywhere in it, the store. I don't know if it's go, actually go into any warranted. store in town. Uh, and say, uh, yeah. do y'all have Blanton's? And I guarantee the off. eye roll you'll get <laughs> before they'll be like, no, we don't have. It's just because they probably hear it 10 times a day. Mm-hmm. If really? You think it's that much? Oh, for oh, sure. Wow. Oh, at, at 100%. minimum. Wow. Yeah. Phone calls and people coming in. Yep. Wow. It's, so they're just they, done I, So, so how had, rare is it? It's not very rare, man. It's it not, gets released like every month. Yeah. Yeah. But because it's only a six year bourbon. How that's much the is other it again? Thing. It's about anywhere between sixty and a hundred bucks. That's yeah, that's that's I mean, that's that's a good price for an entry whiskey or entry into that kind of thing. Like that's a value. Entry high end. Like yeah. si- between sixty and a hundred is like that's attainable. Yeah. That's the, that's honestly, a good amount of money for is most not people. What what um makes this uh sought after. It's how hard it is to get. Right. Mm. Just and then all the extra, and, and considering the extra that marketing too. Considering the that they release marketing. this yeah. almost every month, mm. and you you'll never see this on the shelf anywhere. Never. Yeah. Mm. I've seen it on the shelf in town. It's gone. I, or it's spoken maybe one or two ago. times. No, here I saw it this year. At well, <laughs> yeah, somebody doing a thing. Yeah. Okay. Like the first yeah. thing, yeah. store. I mean, they, huh? and they'll post <laughs> usually the on truck. the. They usually yeah. post on the page. Hey, look, you know, we're putting this out or yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah. Some. Yeah. So, so yeah, one of those. But I have seen it on the show. Hmm. The, you know, it's funny. I've actually only ever uh, bought and opened one Blanton's because back when you could buy it on the shelf, there was another uh, bottle called uh, Elmer T. Lee <laughs> that is the same uh, 
recipe. I just recipe love the names, and everything. Man. Well, these Elbert are Teeley. people. These, these are, are actually, yeah, these are people. Elbert Taylor was actually a master yeah. distiller. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I know they're, all, but they're all they're all Kentucky yeah. like, country. Yeah. Elmer T. Blanton was also a so big Elmer deal. T. Lee was the person that started the Blanton's bourbon yeah, line. That's right. Yeah, the that's single nice. barrel. That's such a yeah. But, that, but yeah, Elmer T. Lee was on the shelf at the time, and Blanton's was fifty dollars. Elmer T. Lee was thirty five. So uh, a few years ago, I put a question on the on the page on the Gulf Coast, and kind of asked, you know, what's the deal with Blanton's? You know, is it the is it really that good? Is it um, people like horsies? Okay, well, no, I want my horsey. Whiskey. Essentially, no. I got answers from yeah, it's really good bourbon to people like horsies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and but but one of them actually um, I'm uh, trying I'm to remember his name, man. Oh, it, he's uh, one of the admins now at the San Antonio these? page. Uh, yeah, we're gonna Eric oh, Adams. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He actually put him. Yeah, and this go. is this is cool. usually everyone's first. You know, they're dipping their toes into into yeah. premium bourbon. You know what I say? Or their first like, thought after my my advertising monkey brain. This is my favorite because look how cool. That label hasn't That's changed in like a hundred years. Exactly. Like in the in the and I honestly. Talking about like the the packaging and stuff like this, obviously, uh, we're talking about the packaging of this being superior. The packaging of this, for some reason in my mind, I love a long, skinny bottle. Okay. Like it 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 like, it says antiquity. Well, you know what? I'm gonna style. I'm gonna put that to the test in a <laughs> little know? bit. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know why it just bottle, says antique to me. Believe just, it or not, man, they this is the only version we can get in America. Huh? This version of this. Mm -hmm. There are about four or five versions you can get in Japan. But it's a bird. Okay. No, not yeah. Japan. One yeah. one version in. J Japan, there's where's the blue label, it's black bourbon, label, though. like black gold label, is Japan, wait, 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 wait. gold, green, and straight from the barrel is Europe. So, okay, so so, so, it's so we made get here. one. Yeah, this but is made we here. Can't get, we can only get one kind we can only here. Get yep. one kind. Why Europe gets well because when during the dark ages of bourbon, <laughs> Japan yeah. and Europe kind of saved this brand. <laughs> yeah, Japan oh. for sure. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, like prohibition? No, 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 no. No, the no. The, when, uh, the whenever glut, there was well, a, a ancient vodka, age, yeah, 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 yeah vodka yeah. became super prolific, yeah. and a lot of other things, and whiskey okay. fell way, way out. And of the favor. Japanese yeah. are just like, fuck the, yeah, we the love Japanese yeah. actually uh, help save bourbon, yeah. um, because actually the Japanese own a lot of bourbon. Now so Beam Suntory, yeah. Suntory, yeah, is is a Japanese company. They so own Jim Beam. They own Jim Beam. They own and, yeah. Jim Beam and Maker's Mark, mm -hmm. which is um, I love Suntory. I love the Japanese yeah, man. Like, uh, yeah. Great. Uh, Kieran owns Four Roses. They completely save that Kieran? brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, owns? Kieran owns them. Really? Yeah. Wow. So. Uh, so that Is, uh, don't, aren't they? Don't they uh, have some some interest in uh, Sazerac? They have interest in Ancient Age. So Mashville okay. Two, which is Blanton's, Elmer T. Lee. That's what gets really complicated. Yeah. So we're talking about wait, certain wait, recipes. What does this have to do with any of these bits? So a a Japanese this this or cousins. a Japanese yes. investor company. <laughs> there is some of Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. The horsey whiskey is the cousin of the worst one <laughs> of the month. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Are you and it has fucking handwritten numbers yep. on it and shit and they yeah. make this? Yeah. Wow. I told you earlier what what I got for that 1984 one. Yeah. So All it's right. crazy. So, uh, I'm going to try the uh Taylor first. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, that's <clears throat> So the Taylor is 100 proof, so bottled and bond. Yeah. Yeah. Bottled and bond, and then uh, Blanton's is 94, 93. Yeah, what I've learned is that bottled and bond is usually a good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, that's pretty, good. Pretty good. I like that. I like the first off, the government did right. That's a sipping whiskey <laughs> right there. First off, mm -hmm. I love yeah, the Taylor. Um, I'm putting the Taylor above Wild Turkey Taylor's for delicious, sure. Man. Above Wild and that's Turkey. the yeah. entry level Taylor. Yeah, small yeah. batch. Small batch. To me, to me, right now, like everything that I really <clears> like <throat> about Wild Turkey. Mm -hmm. Is represented I, I, in that bottle. I like more. Which, in my opinion, so that's man, that rice spice. Yeah, yeah. In my opinion, yeah. The, that Christmas thing yeah. you were talking about. That's rice spice. Mm -hmm. So that 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 Christmas, yeah. if we do a rye lineup, I think you're gonna love it because yeah. that is all Christmas. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's Christmas I, yeah. cake, all yeah. spice, nutmeg, that kind yeah. of yeah. stuff. Mm. Oh yeah. But but what I was gonna get at is that the small batch to me is the most consistent of yeah. the whole EH Taylor lineup. What is first and I only? Love, I love that. Me. Is that just a, a phrase they have? I have no idea what that means, man. I want to read that. Wait, first and only. Where are you seeing that? The, the, this red thing. Right? Oh, first and only. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I thought I was. I thought I was like tripping or something. I mean, <laughs> so E. H. Taylor was like the master of bourbon marketing. So <laughs> that's probably comes from. It just means he's the first and only baller in the game. He he probably made it up. Yeah, 
He's the first yeah, and he only probably, first and only Colonel E. H. Taylor I know of. Damn so it. the uh, current Buffalo Trace Distillery was old fashioned copper mm-hmm. distillery. We're That's what he up. started. Yeah, and he started that, and then he got forced out by uh, George T. Stagg and and right, everything, right. which is then, another highly allocated bourbon now. Then he went and started Old Taylor Distillery, which is now Castle and Key Distillery. Um, these things are just changing hands like crazy. Mm-hmm. It, it, that's it, when you start getting into so, the history of bourbon. And what does that crazy. what does that do to the quality so of the read, drink, though? You know, like when they change the Kentucky bourbon is, whiskey of topmost class. Yeah, I mean, look at his picture on there on the side. Keep bro. Yeah, yeah, man. Just Mark Paul, Twain. He's yeah. like, motherfucker, man, I know, make me some whiskey. <laughs> He's so, a master marketer. Which is the one that says old, old fashioned copper distillery? Is it? Is yeah, this one yeah, old fashioned? Yeah. Earlier, so yeah. now they they release Buffalo Trace releases a a, a bottle every year, or not every year, but yeah, it's called an OFC, of, yeah. and it's a vintage. Usually every year, it's like 1982, 1990, 1991. They they the they go for whiskey. about three grand, dude, for a bottle of that stuff. Yeah. So I, lo- I love the Taylor. I love it's it. It's really good. That's Have a, you that's tried? A good, uh, what do you think that's of the Blanton's? whiskey? Blanton's? I'm about to, I'm about to All right. Not bad. The Blanton's is not bad. Not bad. I mean, hmm. no, it's not. No, well, actually, yeah, I, I, I really I like the Blanton's too. It's, it's real smooth. Not it's not as good it's as very, Taylor. It's very smooth. I don't think it's as good as the Taylor. I don't like it as much as the Taylor. The blend is. The blends is very smooth mm. and it's mm-hmm. very balanced. It's good. It's a really good whiskey. Yeah. It, I could I could drink that straight. Oh, I'm surprised because I like could drink that, it on the rocks. Most of the high yeah, dollar ones we've but seen have been. Yeah. Kinda, that small batch blows it yeah. out. Yeah. Um, I could drink it straight oh, yeah. on the rocks. So I, do, I like the Taylor better because it has that. Okay. I don't know, it has that that warm fuzzy quality to so, me. Like you know, on the shelf, <laughs> I like that warm fuzzy quality. On the shelf, you got to get on a list. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Forty bucks. Forty bucks. Yeah. Sixty to a hundred. Like you can go to spec and get this right now. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Really? Availability uh, factors in too, you know? Specs like, uh, or, you know, know other locally notes. owned stores. <laughs> it's good. That's a good whiskey. Y'all have been real careful not to like drop names and stuff. So. <laughs> You're like, we ain't trying, we ain't trying to make no enemies. Well, we ain't trying to make I mean, no friends. I, I will <laughs> openly uh, try to draw people away from specs, but you know. I got you. Yeah. yeah. But the Ooh. point I'm making, man, is that you like this better. I do, I do. So, uh, and honestly, you can actually go and buy this. If you go to any store right now and ask for this, I, they're going to tell I you, get it. Yeah. yeah, we don't have yeah. it. We'll yeah. we'll call you or we'll put you can we'll get put on, you a on a list, list or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something like that. Um, I, I would like. Uh, you said the blends is sixty bucks, right? Mm-hmm. About about the six. Ish. Cheapest. Yeah, should be. Cheap, That's yeah, MSRP, on the cheap side. Right? Yeah, yeah, MSRP. Yeah. Um, honestly, like the the blends is good enough to like. Do a treat yourself. Oh, you know, yeah. Like it totally thing. justifies 60 bucks. Yeah, it justifies 60 bucks. Absolutely. It really does. Absolutely. Like, I'm I, not trying yeah. to shit on it. Dude, it's a delicious yeah. bourbon. And then, like, the special factor of it kind of, like, puts it up there, too. Yeah. It, it yeah. can be a hindrance and a helpful thing. It's it's 60 bucks. I mean, I mean, the, the, all this stuff is handwritten. They put the date. They, they yeah. put it in the bottle. What warehouse it came from. What, you know... What position in the in the Rick house it was in, the proof. Yeah. But they bottle, also make H what, and H. Oh, well, here's the other deal. <laughs> uh, fuck. This is, this Every is a, bourbon distillery has I know. Right. A bottom dark shelf. Past. No, has they broke bottom laws shelf. And killed lawmen. I know. <laughs> but they have bottom shelf but, but all the way to premium. Another, yeah. One other thing has about, the, about Blanton's is it's a single barrel. Single barrel. So it actually true. tells you what barrel it came out mm-hmm. of. This one came out of uh, barrel 486. It's not bad. It's uh, it's it's and it's n- bottle number two hundred and nineteen out of that barrel. It's, it's a damn not, good. It's a damn, damn, damn good. Damn Here, whiskey. Here's another thing. I do like Blanton's. So this the one bo- may not the bottle like makes the it more one. valuable. Blanton's versus that early times. I like early times. <laughs> yeah, early times. All Twenty five dollars for a liter, or now, yeah. if you can get no, it no, sixty bucks. No, so here's 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 the whole Best case scenario. Here's the whole thing about this too. Is like, Look, so I do. I like early times. I like the early times better than the Blanton's. But I like the Taylor better than the early times. Okay. Because all the same qualities, that, that's, all the same qualities I get from the early times. They're, they're both the same price, that, right? That These two is the same. No, that's forty bucks. That's yeah. about twenty five. Forty and twenty five. So I now think, is the Taylor? No, two times it's better not, than the early times. It's good, but it's in the same case. It's in the I same league. I think it's one point six times okay. better. Okay. You know, mm. it's in the wow. same league. But that's close because it's twenty close. five forty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, twenty five for yeah. a liter though. So then, yeah, I that's think I, think, I, think, I think I would get this in a pinch. But you can justify. I wanted to look I could, justif- I could justify the price. Okay. Of that, yep. I, want, I would. I would buy this 
over this just because I want a nice bottle on the shelf that looks cool. Yeah. Nobody knows anything about and whiskey. This is tube. impressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It comes with a tube. And you have the fucking tube that you can serve. Yeah. Hey, like, that's, that's that's a scotch <laughs> game though. The tube, like that's a scotch so game. So they're in the same. Drink. They're. Yeah. I think I would call this our S tier. Okay. So far. Damn. Yeah. This is our S tier. Superior. This is our superior yeah. tier. Uh, these are in our A. We'll 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 split them we'll out later. Yeah. But, but I am. Um, I we am might so we're, gonna put we, this, we're actually. Where does that gallop This is going to be a three parter, guys. Uh, oh, we're almost to the end. We're, yeah. we're getting. I mean, we're we're getting, we got one I think, more. I think we come back oh, yeah. and then we categorize them. We got. Yeah. We got one. Okay, let's come back yeah. and come back and categorize. We got really one more left. Right did right did y'all yeah. want to do those? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. We'll we're do, doing them well. No, let's take a break and come back. We'll do those and then we'll categorize. Then we'll categorize. All right. Booyah. We'll finish it off and then and then. For our final I literally so. said at the beginning of this, I don't want to do a three parter, but <laughs> <laughs> well, there's it's the alcohol, man. Yeah. Are you fucking and then, with me? No. And then and then say 1835. We'll save it. Save I didn't it. Like we gotta, it. You gotta save it. You gotta save it. You gotta <laughs> we'll save it. No, this. we're recording. Yeah. You gotta save it. And then we'll my stomach is my best. stomach is warm. My face is getting hot. We have drank each of these whiskeys. <laughs> How many? Is God, it? it's a lot. Y'all don't drink as much whiskey as no. we do. I'm totally hey, yeah, no, I'm totally fine. No, I'm trying to be, stay I'm here. Every right. now and then, yeah, I'll no. have like a night at Thirsty's where I'm like, I'll have a whiskey and diet, you know, and I'll do that all night. I'll drink like seven. Whiskey diet. What's your diet choice? You don't like diet Coke? sugar? Coke? Yeah. yeah, of course. You don't like Coke Zero? I like, no, fuck Coke Zero. I like Coke Zero. Like Coke, 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 Coke Zero Coke? tastes like a spart of me. Diet. My grandma drank a lot of Diet Coke growing up. I have, have a penchant Dew? for it, so fuck Mountain Dew. <laughs> Seven and Mountain Dew. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. All right. Oh, yeah, come yeah, at me like a spider song. monkey. <laughs> okay, I re, I re, kind of reestablished the shot here. <laughs> all right. Don't so worry about moving all that. We're going to do it. Okay, yeah, are we on? Edit that out. Yeah, we're on. All right, so this last round is going to be... Two new additions this year. So this bottle right here, Baker Seven Year. It's originally was part of the Jim Beam Small Black Batch Collection. Um it was always seven year old batch. Now it's a minimum of seven years single barrel. So what's what's the affiliate uh brewing with these? Like uh, I know there's one in this this pile. Jim this Beam right here. Jim yeah. Beam. Okay. Jim Beam. Cool. Okay. So Jim Beam has the small batch collection, which yeah. is uh, Basil Hayden's, mm. which is not not that great. Uh, Baker's, Baker's, Knob Creek, and, and Booker's. Booker's, which yeah. Booker's gets the most hype in in the bunch. So this year, Knob Creek, Jim okay. Beam decided to to remove Baker's from the small batch batch collection, and and uh, because it it got like for sure the least love out of the whole sure. bunch, yeah. Which, it was, it was sit uh, undeserved, on the shelf man, because it was delicious. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So now they're putting out a, a seven-year single barrel, and this particular se uh, seven-year single barrel is eight years, six months. So it doesn't really matter as long as it's <laughs> over seven years. Right, yeah. right, okay? right. And they uh, redesigned the bottle. It used to come in a bottle that kind of looked like a wine bottle. Mm -hmm. Wax. So it. also with yeah. this bottle, they released this bottle. 13-year Bakers. This is a limited edition. It's only going to come out once a year, mm. and it may change every year. Yeah, they, they've indicated that Ooh, it'll probably metal. be finished they've going They've hinted forward. that it may be a different, yeah. different in years, you know, coming. Sorry, Rocky. Yeah, you got to go down, but So. Ooh, did y'all hear that? There you go, man. Yeah. That's a solid uh, cork that. pop. So one of my favorite uh, whiskey reviewers uh, is uh, Ralphie. He reviews scotch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's a good one. Um, he he always uh, emphasizes the cork pop. Cork pop. Shout out to, uh, uh, where those other those other guys? Bourbon Night? Bourbon they Night? Always, yeah, they always good. do cork pops. Yeah. 
I mean, I know it's, I know it's kind of, it's again back to the whole like marketing thing, but it's just, man, there's something. It's a nice that, bottle, right? You, you should. So yeah, they redesigned it, that bottle completely. Yeah. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. it's yeah. the same as that one, right? Last no, year, no, but last year it looked like a wine bottle. Yeah, it looked yeah. like a wine bottle. Oh. It had a, like a wax and, top and everything. And yeah. it wasn't a single barrel; it was a batch. Yeah, I love a good. A, um, I love a good like Boston style. So this with the with the shoulders. I don't know why looking at that makes me think of Boston. It's like a Boston style bottle. Why do you call it Boston? So is that you a beer it, thing? No, it's it's a it's actually like a apothecary oh, sort of medicine you. style bottle. When right? I buy those, when I buy yeah. the sample bottles, oh, they say Boston. Boston Browns. Yeah, Boston, yeah, Boston yeah Browns. That's, that's the standard. Uh, yeah, yeah. It kind of looks like a, a like. Yeah, I don't know it, why. Yeah. Does it, does it reminds me of two ounce, one I think that seven. Does I think that, that not seven look looks like, darker than that thirteen? It looks like a giant vape juice bottle, right? Sure. That's a Boston style. I don't buy vape. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah, I'm Boston, just saying, yeah, Boston Rounds is the standard trading bottle, right. like sample bottle <laughs> yeah. in the bourbon. Wait, wait, community. wait, 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 Dude, wait, wait. Let me see that. That's almost see that the seven. exact same color. Let me see that seven. It says it's been barrel aged for eight years and six months. Yeah, yeah that's what he was saying. Of seven no, so seven. minimum of seven. Because oh, the, way, seven yeah. the way the government TTB is the labeling authority. Oh, I didn't the way they that. work is you. You submit a standard label. You can do the ones like Blanton's that's handwritten and everything, mm-hmm. but the standard label has to be approved ahead of time. So seven years. And the first ones that came out was eight years, but I guarantee yeah. going forward, it'll Man, I'm, I'm come really down. impressed at the how dark that seven year is. They look about the same. They look huh? almost the same, and this is almost twice as old. Are they are they allowed to add coloring to it? No, 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 no not for urban. Not, okay. not, yeah. no, no, not, no, no color. Okay, so no. let's this get back to Scott. holy. Sh- they're the same. Like yeah, this is this so this is, is about seven. fifty bucks. Oh, I was gonna taste them before you told me the price. Oh. Let, me, let me taste them. Okay. Let me get like all an right. unbiased. All right. Yeah. Okay. What are we starting with? Seven. Seven. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, I like it already. So I want to tell you guys like my my perception before. I want to see how it turns out. Oh, it's got a good burn the whole way. It's 107 proof. Both of them are. A lot of control goes This is there. the highest proof we've had tonight. I really like is it. Is it? I thought it was 120 somewhere. No, <laughs> God. Does it exist? Yeah. 120 yeah. proof? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, we can bring 100, something. 144. What's the max before next? you just die? Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, mean ever, Everclear, I think, is like 180 proof, yeah. I think, or something like Diesel. that. Diesel. Ugh. I like that. Uh, yeah. It's it's this totally a sipping whiskey. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just a so, good burn. So I get some, like, fruitiness on this one. Do y'all yeah, get that? Yeah, yeah. Not a uh, habanero I would, kind of I would say stuff. more, like... <laughs> I, I mean, say, yeah, it's more burn, but yeah. Habanero I would say, like, fruity. berryness more than fruitiness. Yes, berry. Mm-hmm. Berry. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tart. Mm-hmm. Kind of tart. a little tart, yeah, but not. Yeah, whenever I say, I say fruit, fruit, because so this, it's not but sweet. You Jim know? Bean yeah. uh, products are are normally uh, associated with like nuttiness. Yeah, peanut. Mm. I don't really in get a particular. whole lot of nuttiness out of this. No. Uh, no, no, not really. No, no. Not really. like no. as soon as you said, as soon as you started saying berries, it's like yeah, I can mm-hmm. feel it now. For sure. The it, seven yeah, to me is very, very when I say when I say fruitiness, yeah, I, I generally with bourbon, it generally translates to the fruity, like the yeah. Um, it's it's like a berry. It's like a little plum, tart, but not or really blackberry, not blueberry sweet, kind know? of thing. Dark yeah, darker, yeah. darker. Yeah, it's not like yeah. Just mangoes. It's like a yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. that's a Scotch yeah. thing. That yeah. tropical fruit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's man. Yeah, All right, that's, well, that's seven good. is that's seven good. Okay, right, so I'm gonna yeah. taste, uh, I'm gonna taste the one with a fancy tag. Yeah, they, that's the only difference. It's the same fucking yeah. whiskey. They just added a silver tag to it, and six years longer. So, and this is only gonna be made one time. Yeah. It's about the same. Right? Really? So I get this, a little this more oakiness. Slower. It's, it's a little more. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's a little more. more oak, less fruit. It's thir- a little more warm. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how to the thir- explain the it further 13, than that. Like, you know? the, like the seven, like kind of just like it, you get all, you get yeah. everything it does like right off the bat. Mm-hmm. You know, like all the burn just happens. With the 13, that just kind of went like this. You know, it kind of had like a, it was more rounded where it did. It was more, maybe more chaotic in how it hit your, your palate. Wait, wait. You said the thirteen was more chaotic. Chaotic, yeah. But well, you said but, it was like this, but slower. But like, but like, it kind of went back and forth. It seemed like you know. Whereas that one just kind of made its way. Well, back. to me, this one, yeah. To me, the seven. Because that's how that's how it the seven tastes, hits you up front, front to back. With yeah. the berries yeah. mm-hmm. and all that. 
and and the thirteen kind of develops over time. So, yeah, the thirteen almost bounces over your tongue, mm-hmm. other than and slowly. So let's talk about value hmm. now. Oh. Okay, uh, for, right now no value. I don't even know what they cost. That's yeah. why I want to okay, do so this. So what do you think? Um, so yeah, what do you, you said think? Fifty for the seven. So the thirteen, I'm going to guess uh, well, seventy five. Yeah, 80. Well, take, I, take value out of it. What oh, um, do you think is the best? I, flavor. I, like the I I think they should like as far as it, it, it's concerned flavor. with how I'm drinking it right now and like what it tastes like and they're they're very similar obviously they're very similar um I there's a little bit it's a little different one way or the other I couldn't see them being much different apart from each other you know they're as both, far as they're both flavor really, they're different. both really okay. good and flavor they're difference. they're different but I wouldn't say like one is like super ahead of the other and that's just based on me. I kind of like a an eight here. You know, that's kind of a Ooh. sweet spot. Um, and then you say you like the, I like seven, the seven better. Like uh, the thirteen's like really the good. Better, you but I like the seven, seven better. No, I, I wouldn't even you're, say I like the like seven better. Balance. I, yeah, you I like, would, like what they do equally. I like what they do equally better. Like they're seven better. But equal. I might be in like separate a different mood from from one of the other. You know. Yeah, so where exactly. where are you at? I think for me, it's it's more of a you know. Uh, when I'd be drinking it, you know what yeah. I mean? Mm. I think the the Baker's, Baker 7 is a, it's way more fruit forward. It hits you right yeah. away. But it, I mean, it's delicious. Mm. The, to me, the 13 is a little more complex. It takes a little yeah. longer to develop. Uh, it's more of a sipper. It is. Yeah. It, is it is more yeah. of a sipper. But, and I you agree. like the oakiness when I do like more the oakiness than I do. The Baker's, yeah, yeah. yeah. On the 13. I do so, agree. It is more I of a sipper. I would say yeah. I like the 7 better than the I will the say this, though. Yeah. Mm. I don't think the 13... So, twice so what's the price? The what's seven? the price? Fifty for the seven and a hundred for the no. 15? I yeah. so I today paid sixty for this. Okay, and then this was like a little over a hundred. Wait, I that think. you bought yeah. that bottle today? Today because Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I, no. Not I like. I, <laughs> yeah, I like with the same. It is low. For no, really. he bought a bottle of this today. <laughs> yeah. not, not this one. Bottle. Don't, not that don't judge me. Sorry. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. just like no, yeah. Yeah. Um, we watched yeah. the fights the other day in this yeah, bottle yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. No, I can agree with you. Sixty um, and what was the what was it's like about, over a hundred? I think so it's like one ten retail. Yeah, I bought this one. It must have been on sale. I bought it forty nine ninety nine. Yeah. This one was ninety nine. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I totally agree. It's like um, I can agree with yours. Is mm-hmm. you like the seven better? Yeah, I like which, the fruitiness. Which, which I could yeah. see a mood that I was in that I would I would want that, yeah. and then I could agree with you too. You know, it's like that's one of those things where it's like. But value, but, no but value. man, I'll concede that double. this is not yeah. just as good as this. It doesn't not, look yeah. any different other than the tag. It looks almost exactly the same. The coloration is the same. The same. Bottle. Yeah. There's no value in 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 the packaging. No. Period. Uh, yeah, uh, that there count, is, the packaging cancels out. The difference, like the the important the important the balance out, between yeah. these guys. When you look at one of these, where the packaging is everything, mm-hmm. yeah. right? Or, the the yeah, big yeah. difference in these guys is if you're buying it for a gift, uh, it's very discerning because because the either value, one of those the value great is gift. in the experience. Yeah, yeah. either yeah, either one is mm-hmm. a great gift. Uh, if it's, but the value if it's, is in the experience. If the like, person doesn't know that this is a one-time release, yeah, then uh, to get them that, get them this. But if they, if they know a little bit about whiskey, yeah, and you want to impress them, yeah, get them that. Get them that. And but yeah. but also like the difference in experience. Whereas like this one is like like you said, late night, early early night. You know, mm-hmm. like I feel that I feel yeah. that you know hard. that's like, important. That's a late like, night, what you're that's, getting yeah. out. Like if, if, you're, if you me, know man, you're getting to it for a, a sipping whiskey, I would, whiskey, I would that's... drink this with a probably and smoke a cigar with it. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, that yeah, yeah take that would it probably easy, go better sip with it slowly. the cigar. Yeah. Like, like you're not getting shit faced tonight. You're just gonna get a little tips before this bed. one. Mm-hmm. Look, this you one's know, watching. This down. one's watching the fights with the boys. Oh yeah, and this one's like about to slip in some satin sheets. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> both are <laughs> some, both some satin PJs. Both are great. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. They're both great. You know? Yeah. Both uh, so great. where are they? Uh, well. I mean, we're done. Uh, All right, man. Yeah. So where do you? Yeah, where do uh, those stand in relation to where so we're at? So these two right here. Oh, this is what we're working with. Yeah. I would. I would. Let me. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna readjust the the our readjust camera. The camera, and then we'll just kind of like make one big continuous line. Yes. All right. Oh, okay. Oh man. We're See if you can remember where everything back, goes. I'm sorry. You're good. I remember where I think they go for us, and this this is the part where we kind of like. Okay, they're all argue right and now. make concessions to each mm-hmm. other and stuff and figure it out. We can't yeah. do one big line, but we can at least we know we we, we I would like to put them in groups. I would like to put them in groups. So I want to. I want to put so them in one big like line. Top tier we can't do and then we, we don't have enough. We don't have enough width for one big line. Yeah. So. 
So, so I am still certain about Taylor's dominance. Yeah, that far? Well, I mean, this is this is just the beginning of the okay, A's. Okay. So, so I kind of let me get them kind of lined out. That's here. an A or an S? I would say these are the S's. These guys, yes. right here. Yeah. This is the S tier. I agree. That's. I mean, that's as early fucking, times is like. Oh my god, the S price for the price. Yeah. Like the prices are like. Man, honestly, I. That's that price, should be illegal. If you're taking price into consideration, <laughs> I throw the yeah. early times ahead. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I agree with that. Like I said, yeah, I, I price think, for sure. Yes. Yeah. So twenty five for a liter. So you yeah. could yeah. probably say twenty for a fifth. Yeah. So yeah. twenty. So basically, small uh, E.H. Taylor small batches like double. I'm just saying, price. like, like, like the difference between these two is that this is value, uh -huh. but this is the same kind of value, but you buy it Amp more because it quality, because it looks yeah. good. Mm -hmm. It yeah. looks yeah. good. Oh, in yeah. your the quality too, and also. Also, I do like the taste of Taylor better. It's yeah. delicious. Yes. Yeah, I, yes. like, I, like, I like it better. I'll take the flavor. Yeah. Yeah. So like they're, they're in their own category. That's Man, honestly, that's I think that would be tied. They have similar notes. I mean, yeah. They have I mean, notes I'll put the others. Taylor up front because it looks prettier. Yep. But uh, <laughs> but the, this is our S category. Right? Yeah. 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 yeah, for sure. Okay. And I'll actually, I'll separate them because it's only two bottles, and they should be they should be shown off. Uh, that's our S tier. Um, and then after that... Surprisingly, benchmark and Jim Beamer, like in the wow. middle of the pack, as far as right now is Whoa, concerned. Did we rate these? We haven't the rated those. I, I, I want to put. Bakers? I want to. So wanna, fifty bucks. Okay, so what this is our I tier. I want to put that in a tier. That's I really an do. A tier. I, I definitely want to put that in a tier. The thirteen or the seven? The, the seven. Seven, for, seven, seven. Sure. for sure. Value. Oh my yeah, god. Seven. Yeah, this is a hundred. Uh, so I would yeah. say it's mm. funny. All the expensive ones. I would call this our C tier, and this would be the top of the C. Or this would be at the top of the C. This one was delicious, and I absolutely. Like, there's some of these ones that are expensive that I didn't really like that mm -hmm. much. So they're going to, mm -hmm. I mean, we can argue about it. No, yeah, I but agree then with you that. get into yeah. the benchmark is $10 yeah. for a fifth. Yeah. Versus 50, yeah. 60, yeah. No, 60, 100. 150. Yeah. But benchmark has a great flavor. Yeah. For, to $10. me, <laughs> but, 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 yeah. but okay, okay. So all it's the, not it's not amazing. First of no. all, no. it's not amazing. No. Here's the thing all the pluses we've given to the ones it's for good amazing. gifts. Yeah. Are you going to give somebody this for no. Christmas? No, no, no. No, no, no you're no, not no. going to give I mean, it. It's, it's not impressive That's a drinker. Yeah. That's what we like yeah. to call a drinker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, this, okay. is, this is not anything special. This nope. is This is yeah. not a night with the fights with the boys. No. I mean, that is a night of the fight with fights with the boys. That's kinda. a $10 Not a pay-per-view fight, bourbon. but like an yeah. you know, intramural this, thing. <laughs> this is not <laughs> slipping in the sash. I mean, but don't sleep ESPN on it. It's a Kentucky Street bourbon. It really is, yeah. It has to meet standards. Yeah. So, so... So our A tier is going to be Baker Seven, I'll Jim Bean, and Wild Turkey. Will. Definitely, and then like let's enter rank Williams, them. Sorry, mm -hmm. yeah, let's let's enter rank. Yeah, them. for sure. So this honestly, is the at the at the height of A tier, I'd put Wild Turkey. Okay. At the yeah. Height. Okay. Yeah. So I would Evan, put. Yeah, because Williams I mean, for I don't the think price, Williams man. Williams is twice as good as the Turkey. I don't think it is. You know, no, no, it's not. No, no, it's no, not twice as good. So this is going to go next or two or behind. Evan Williams, Baker Seven. For, How much is the, Evan Williams? About twelve like bucks. Ten, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right there. No, it, no it's Williams like is, fit, no, because bottle and bond is like fourteen dollars yeah, for. So regular Evan Williams is probably like ten dollars for a yeah. fifth. So Evan Williams is good for the price. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's value. Honestly, poor. like it's, that's so the it's reason why it's number two good. bourbon in the world. Is a, is a, it's value bourbon? You be on, like, but is you it, rate is, the tiers as well. Yeah, man, you got to. So Evan I mean, Williams look goes at the above. Bakers. The packaging is beautiful. Yeah, it's I mean, a, dude, like compared, it's absolutely a better. You're spending, bourbon. you're spending yeah, three. Absolutely. Like this is worth four times as 50, much. Fifty, ten. No, yeah. four, this isn't four worth, times. How much is no, it? No, no, it's is not, it three. Is it three? Yeah, times? It's, it's good. Hold on, yeah. it might be four mm. times better than that than yeah, standard Evan Williams. It, it, it might be four times. better. I think this yeah. is four times better. Yeah, I agree. this was okay, but like good. Even 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 me knowing about the placebo effect, I'm gonna love this. This more than three. I just bought one today because so look, let's just we'll kind of do it. Okay, yeah, yeah. I would even go as far as to say is maybe it's better than Wild Turkey. Let's put them. Because turkey's twenty twenty five. This man. this right here. Value turkey's twenty five. Dude, is it dude, twice this is, is turkey? Baker's is double wild this turkey. Is one worth. On one. This is worth. I think it's one point five times better than wild turkey. This is double worth. I think seven double this, than wild it. turkey. Yes. Yeah. Really? Like if I'm buying a whiskey to do what the whiskey does, like for these things, like if and I'm buying one on one or this, I will buy this. Yes. 
for okay. a party. I mean, it for, does have value. So yeah. I would say Baker is on that. So good. Williams. It looks the exact same as the uh, fucking I'm, hundred dollar bottle. Not, yeah. I'm, I'm not putting Evan Williams over Wild. Oh no, okay. no, yeah, not, yeah. I'm not. No, not Evan Williams. Okay. I would not. So I'm just gonna hide Evan Williams behind it. No, no, no. Third next to. Yeah, next to. Because it's better than. Yeah. Value wise, it's better than everything then, else. Then yeah, yeah. the the dark horse benchmark. Benchmark's definitely it's, like it's head of B. It is the or top the, of B. Okay, so top of B. Or, we can't put it. A, 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 yeah, no, dark horse is a, S, is a good ranking. A, yeah, yeah. That's probably dude, the top of it. <laughs> benchmark. You can get dude, a fifth for ten bucks. You think it'd be Blanton's A tier? Dude, is it? Is it? Is Blanton six times B-tier? better than? But you're saying Blanton's <laughs> is B tier. It was it was good. I think Blends is bottom A tier. Okay, let's put it. You know what? All right, cool. It's not that expensive. It's it, it's okay. About, it's well, sixty dollars, but you gotta you gotta. Bet. It's one of the it's one yeah. of the few fancy bo- it's one of the few fancy Look, bottles that is actually decent. But it's a fancy decent. bottle. But yeah. you no, have to good. beg for that bottle. No, it, it's not just straight retail. It's all you also have to prostrate so yourself. So a lot of the value. <laughs> yeah. A lot of the value is also in the experience too. Of course. So, um, not taking everything, it's a good whiskey, and it's sixty dollars, and uh, uh, its its availability is good like best case scenario. It's like sixty dollars. It's like a pappy, right? And that mm, it like, looks really fucking cool, though. It that is a good looking bottle that for sixty dollars. I didn't. Bring, There's a reason they use it for the, John listen, Wick. Listen, so, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't bring the felt bag. And oh, yeah. Oh, it yeah. With. It comes with a felt bag <laughs> inside of a box. Yeah. Inside of yeah. So it's that in a felt bag. Yeah. Like a crown bag, but it, it says Blanton's. That's yeah. definitely inside an of a unboxing box. type. Yeah. Bottle. Is it is it I, below Evan Williams or above Evan? Evan if below. you include value, it's it's a it's okay. So Evan Williams is holding tight. No. Okay. No. Below. Okay. Sorry. I yeah. Don't that's, either one of y'all want to play that. It's. I mean, they got John Wick to do it. It's there's a lot of so uh, no, I did, dude. It's a yeah. solid Buffalo bourbon, Trace. But, so benchmark okay, king so of the B tier. Hold on, right? Let's look at this. Is <laughs> that's what benchmark is Blanton, says? So good. Is Blanton six times better than Evan Williams? The hell no, no, never. So hmm. it needs to be below Evan Williams. So Correct. it's the bottom of okay. A. So okay. yeah, no, but is it six times better? But like. What about the package, the package though, and, and all that the stuff? You know, and, and the how, experience and stuff listen, like that. And how you know? happy? Look, it's and one how, of the and how much measure. is that? How much is how that? How happy like, you'll make somebody? Yeah. If you give that to somebody, yeah, yeah they're that's gonna oh, fucking no. love this. Like this I, I've given, like, yeah. I've given way more bottles as presents than I've actually. Then put that above yeah. Evan Williams, man. Like, no, yeah, come on, you're right. That has value unto itself. I'm officially protesting that, but you know, it's three out of four. Yeah, it's. I'm okay with that. Yeah, not, it, it, that yeah, has, not. That because has we're also saying because of the of the experience. This, yeah. Well, but there's the and no one's that, trading like toppers exactly. for Evan Williams. You exactly. know what I mean? Like that's a whole because thing. Because it has a meta. FOMO like this was a meta. They're, yeah. they're so. impressed by the horse. Right. <laughs> it's all about that's the horses, what, man. No. Okay. That's why I'm officially protesting. Okay, so we're right. going into ranking. C tier. So no, this is B tier. B tier. So we got S tier, which is these two. We got A tier, and then B tier start with B benchmark. That dude. Dude. Like I, dude, I thought I thought Jape was just just buttering her balls or whatever. No, but like, that is actually a good. Now that that's is a there, good there's, whiskey. There's, that's like an eight dollar pour. Like all there's the bars, all the bars in here. Like, get your that, shit together. Get the bench hey, that, Log no, on. I gotta yeah, give them log props. On has that as their that's well their Ed, whiskey. Ed, Ed likes whiskey. Honestly, Ed likes like, scotch. He knows what he's. I want, he knows what I want he's benchmark doing. to be the head of B. I would love to put Jim Beam in there too. It's probably right there with it. Because of, honestly, like out of all of the minis, For the price? All, all the little mm-hmm. tiny ones we did with the price and the taste, it's the most impressive to me. I sure, you know, um, I agree. Yeah, and then maybe I, even, I'm telling you, man, my dark horse was benchmark. I, I was yeah. it surprised me. It legitimately yeah. surprised me at how yeah, good for it was. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and maybe maybe we could put like, uh, uh, eh, let's put let's put makers in B two. I guess. I don't know, dude. I mean, are you seriously? Or are we? No, are we what is this guy going? Yeah, no, these, we, guys, they, these are B. No, the these premiums are going to B. Uh, these yeah, are the premiums yeah. going because, to B, and, 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 and only because of price. Only, only because, because of, price. of price. These yeah. are definitely you're not S tier, taste wise. That's not. Yeah, you're that's not. Fuck in that. Fuck that whiskey. <laughs> You ain't putting that. Damn. Okay. I'm sorry. Fuck that. I hated it. Hating on the first two of the four. I hated it. So Evan Williams. Um, side by side, I didn't love it. It's like as a, much it's a high as I had yeah. on its own. On its own. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. So we got yeah. that, and then this. That's is coming a beer. from a former. Honestly, like, and and really like this, 
I think this deserves to be like that uh, should be delicious, man. The bottom is, of a, but it's honestly. high dollar. It deserves to be right behind benchmark. That should because be because of value. It's so no, high dude, dollar. I mean, are we, I don't know. Are that's hundred dollars. It's hundred dollars. Like dollars. the taste of that is really is good. Is it ten times better no. than benchmark? I mean, no, but it's it's, it's, it's got equal. Thing, you know? It's equal. It, it's a balance. So, but, it's a balance yeah. of value in like the gift it's and value in and what you're getting. Oh yeah, for the gift. Being the holidays and gift gifting. Gifting is a huge thing. It does like the bottle does have a value. This is gonna blow some. This is gonna blow people away, dude. I know and it's worth the value the in their expression. Where I got they that see only got two bottles. Yeah, yeah. so it so, does, it does is like you know the taste and everything we're talking about so, the quality. So we have Jim Beam Benchmark and and these are equal on B tier. Okay. 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 All right. That's awesome. Right. That's fine. And to me. so this Ooh. old Forester comes up right next to him. <laughs> there are decades on C tier. In C tier? <laughs> no, those are in B tier. This, oh, this is all B tier. Right, 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 right. This is our yeah, B tier. Yeah, yeah. okay, okay. And only yeah. because of price, right? Yeah, and yeah. availability. Price, price, yeah. price, and then price, price, remember, yeah, yeah. B is still good. So this is, people get, this people is almost get really no availability. Us. This is price. Yeah. yeah that's just this price, is 150. Yeah. This is about 100, 120. Does Makers make it on B? Uh, I think. Yeah, I think Makers makes bottom. it on B too. Yeah, yeah. Bottom yeah. for the it's packaging. I, I think so. For the yeah, packaging, yeah. for the price, everything. It's, I'll put it's it on B as well. I'll put it on B as well. So it looks yeah. good. You know, like, that's um, a, Makers just looks good. Like, even if, if like, like I said, there's a big important value in buying for people who don't know shit about yeah, liquor. Yeah, that's a value. Oh, yeah, so you there's you know, a lot. Wax yeah. And they see that wax. Yeah, fuck yeah. They'll see that wax and be like, oh shit. Blends I bought for people that are on that level. Yeah, yeah. Blends is legit. The the decades to me though is gonna be way down there because honestly, I don't even like it more than one on one. You know, yeah, I really, yeah, I really, all things being equal, it's like every, not, it's not like, man. it's five not, times better it's than not 101. that much yeah. greater than 101 yeah. to me. I, I you know? like it better, but I, no, I, not five times I better. I love the packaging of it. The packaging of it to me hmm? feels really good. And I like that. I like the aesthetics, but I mean, I really like that little extra really, wood they yeah, put in there. It's really, it's not that much better than 101. And when we look at 101, we look at its package. It's classic. It has the paper. So this is C tier, uh, you know, and. Yeah. No, so now we're. Oh, this is the so now we're going on plastic. plastic. Yeah. <laughs> so now oh we're going on C God. tier. So C tier is probably going to be uh, a little smaller, and then we're going to finish out though, in DNF. DNF. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting that a well whiskey, two, three well whiskey. Technically, whiskeys. this is our C tier. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Is our C tier? That's how. So no, we don't have we any wells it. in the A, B, or S, A, and B. No, not at all. So this is, is, well, C- is Wait, Wild Turkey is this ever a for D tier? No. I hate this. Yeah. You hate it? Really? I hate oh, it. This, guys, I, this, this is F tier. Okay. The, cool. 1835? I Look. thought you said that was your favorite. No. Fuck no. 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 Okay. no. I, agree. I Texas, thought you were being serious. No. I'm sorry. Yeah, Let me Texas, tell you. No. So, I agree. So we talk about uh, <laughs> They're trying packaging to value. They're, yeah. So we pack, <laughs> talk about patch, packaging value. That has Let's no. talk about patch. Packaging fake devalue. Yeah. Yes. So, as Texans, F-tier. how offended are you F-tier, at people bro. who try I'm not to offended, play I'm just like on? Pathetic. Yeah. They put a freaking "Come and Take It" Gonzalez bro. cannon on there. Dude, man. we can. You want to build? They try to play on. Oh, look, we they have to play us, pride. bro. They try to play so us, bro. So I bought bacon yes. they tried off the to fact us. that. It had a Texas state cutout off of it. Yeah. <laughs> we are we love susceptible te- we to love it. Texas. We are. No, Texas so, are, man. And they Whenever, took advantage of us. They took yes, advantage they and gave us an inferior product. Correct. Like, yes. that's why we love Texas is because it's actually better than everybody. Yes. And Correct. you give us something and branded as... It's to almost like it tonic grass-fed beef. Yeah. But it's not grass-fed no. at all. Yes, you know. So like, that so deserves to in, man. Yeah, They're like, that's, oh, that's, we'll, just put a, we'll just put some Texas on F. it. They'll yeah. love it. That's Fuck F. you. Fuck them. Fuck you. I agree. Oh, hardly. That's, 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 that's hanging off of that's F. That's F. Yes. We're going to put... So let's just I go ahead. You, you, you do not so, trade off. Don't stop Look, me. Pride. Don't stop no, me. No, we're going to go ahead and fill out the F. Let's just do F real quick. Yeah. I think that needs to be G. This is F. Yes. We got our F right there. There we go. That's our F. Dude, I had higher hopes for ancient age. But, but it didn't but do it. But that's ancient age. That's so, not ancient age bourbon. No. That no, age, it's not the ancient same. Ancient age bourbon. It. it tastes industrial. This this that's, ancient that's age. cleaning. It you, tastes you industrial. Should, you should it's clean preferred. wounds with that. That's about yeah. it. <laughs> Maybe I can like, mop the floor or something with that. <laughs> it's, it's trying desperately Big to. Big words. Prefer. It's trying desperately yeah. to commit you. Yeah. It's preferred. So people fresh out of prison? Like, who prefers ancient age? 
Yeah. Well, I mean, oh, it's, yeah, to toilet yeah. wine? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, does. so we got our Fs. We had our Bs. So now we're going to do... We're left with McCormick, Kentucky uh, Oh, wait, no, we have our Cs. These are our Cs, I think right? These are our Cs. Like, Jack those are our Cs. Seven, so because these are our Ds? So we only have our Ds left. Jack Daniels, that heritage wow. goes to... Jack right, you, oh, you, you, I'll you throw that D? on C. You Come tell on, me, man. You it's tell a fancy Jack Daniels. Bad. It's a fancy I think it's a B. D- Fuck Y'all tell me where no. this belongs. That's a C. I, I personally Top think it's a D. Top of the C. I'm biased because Top I don't C. like it. Top of, I don't I'll like take it. Some C. I respect y'all's opinion. Mm. Top of the C. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Because to me, because there is a, they put work into this. We got to, you know. And we got to cut the difference because, look, it's better than What you're saying, man, is that better than Jack Daniels? Is that with that low entry proof? I applaud them for doing that. Nobody, nobody in the bourbon world is going to want to just say, yeah. I disagree. <laughs> I think Jack Daniel's heritage should be at least B, but we'll split well, it. I'm it, not we'll, voted. We're going to split it because I'll like, agree. We'll do, and, and that's because we'll I want to split it. I want to put it in D. Okay. I want to put it in right. F. So we'll, I want to put it in D. Shit. So we're going to split it. Okay. I really yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Just so, so like C. Okay. All right. Compromise C. So you don't like Jack Daniel's. So. So, so exactly. Uh, so the most I Jack, Daniels, like Jack Daniels, Daniels on steroids would yeah. actually be worse for you. Yeah, exactly. it tastes okay. way okay. worse. All right, for me. it's so a fancy Jack Daniels. Let's just settle on C. So then, like paying so D, more for something that tastes F. even more Jack okay. Daniels for me is <laughs> like hard co- even more okay. Jack Daniels. Uh, uh, so I've never heard of a Kentucky gentleman. Uh, and I'm really? right behind okay. McCormick just for pocket. Okay. Dude, All right. McCormick uh, was a so D hard. and F. D and so F as in. F U 1835. Uh, no, no, 1835 is hanging off of F. We might put it off of the chart completely. No, just, just turn it up on its New side. Yeah, just turn it's, it over. it's dead. Yeah. It's so, dead. 1835, you trade liquor. off of Texas Pride. It's dead. <laughs> you deserve to go last. I love how we made this a tier list without even like meaning to. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's all right, great. Then. This, I, I mean, what? Do, how do y'all feel about final? Would you say we are? Oh, yeah. We're so, okay. Here. okay. I'm good. All right, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna close out with our final thoughts. We're yeah. gonna go in order. Um, uh, well, I guess we'll just start because you guys are the you guys are the yeah. authority. Y'all are no. the bourbon guys. No, you are. You drink a lot more than we are. And we're gonna what start are you with Zach. To say, man? I'm just I mean, trying to say, y'all brought y'all on. Y'all are more defined palate. I don't know shit. I'm gonna. We're gonna start with Zach and go around. I want I want you to say what was your. Favorite mm-hmm. or maybe like uh, your most surprising, and then what was the, your least favorite? Based on everything and all the criteria we mentioned, uh, uh, taste, value, uh, package, everything. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think we, as we worked through it, we worked out a perfect list. And I honestly, I really believe that this is a really good list for anybody who's like trying to do final shopping, uh, because like this is a good bet. Like we we made sure to balance. The value of the bottle and like yes. and like how hard it is to get and all that and it's like yes there are big price differences but it's not so much about what you can afford but it's like what is going to be like do you need to spend this much money on the end result which is either making somebody a, a whiskey connoisseur happy or yeah. making somebody who just likes whiskey happy that's a great buying great it for a dad it, mm-hmm. you know it's like because it's like so like I said most people don't know shit about liquor or about whiskey in general so it's like a good balance of that. These whiskeys are fucking outstanding. Yeah, that that is these like value I, and I love. This and, is my favorite. Taste, this is my yeah. favorite. This is I would say equally my favorite. But the oh my god, it's so cheap. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and buy this yeah. tomorrow. I yeah. might even buy this tomorrow if I can find it. You know, and it's like this is like S tier solid. All the tiers are solid. My least favorite. My least favorite is H and H. Uh, and after that, it's probably this one. Damn. 1835 really wasn't that bad, but their branding fucks them because they're inauthentic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's, that's that's yeah, that's me. I think it's a great tier. I think we did everything right. Uh, and yeah, fuck 1835, fuck H&H, fuck Jack Daniels. God bless these whiskeys. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, okay, so, so my final thoughts are... Uh, some things were a surprise to me in this episode. Some things weren't. You know, mm-hmm. there's we have standards in here. Like, obviously, I like wild turkey. It's a standard I would never... <laughs> and since this kind of became sort of a Christmas episode and we're talking about gifts, if somebody gave me a wild turkey as a as a gift, I'm not going to... I'm, that's great. You know what I mean? Like, it really would be. Um, honestly, uh, this one here, the decades, if somebody gave me that because it's wild turkey... It looks good on the shelf, It looks man. great. And it's and, delicious. And I love wild turkey, and I think that... And, and you didn't have to pay for I, it. I love that, and I didn't have to pay for it. You know what I mean? Um, uh, that being said, I think the one I would love to get the best as a gift is the tailor. Like, if somebody gave me that as a gift, because it comes in the tube. The tailor's um, something special. I mean, the packaging, everything, the, the flavor. Uh, I love the tailor. If I was going to buy one myself, 
It would probably be like, uh, what would I buy myself? I'm probably going to buy Wild Turkey or I'm going to buy the Early Times. I love those. The Gift of Zat. I mean, so those those are kind of like my top picks over there. Those those three. Um, I'm not going to buy. I'm not going to buy the the. I'm not gonna buy any of these other ones for myself. I'm I'm poor. You guys, y'all aren't. So no. or y'all just care more. My least favorite of all of these, um, obviously everything is. I've already said it a bunch of times. Is this Jack Daniel's single barrel? Fuck I yeah. just I don't like the flavor profiles. They're not conducive to my palate. And then also, it is a special bottle, so it's a lot more expensive. Mm -hmm. um, How I much like, is that bottle again? It's about sixty seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, you're not gonna. Find but it. I mean, if, yeah. they're hard to find. You're not gonna find it yeah. for sixty. <sighs> if you do know somebody <laughs> because, who is like because bourbon, people liked it. Yeah, you, you can still find Jack Daniels limited editions from like three years ago on yeah. the yeah. shelf. But because bourbon, people because they like have that one. liked yeah. it. Yeah, I mean they have you're some not even higher it. tier yeah. stuff like their Sinatra series uh, and stuff right, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. that gold one, mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, yeah. sorry, I didn't. So, mean to no, that's it. okay. Uh, what I was saying is, like, if you have somebody you're trying to buy a gift for, and you know that they're a Jack Daniels fan, they probably will love this. Oh yeah, because yeah, like yeah, I sure. described Definitely. it, if they're Jack Daniels fan. They're gonna love this. Mm -hmm. That's Jack Daniels on steroids. I personally don't like Jack Daniels, so yeah. I'm not gonna buy Jack Daniels just for me. So I would not pay three times more to have three times the Jack Daniels flavor. Right. Uh, so that's my that's my least favorite. Uh, those three, those those three things I was saying are my favorite. The Taylor really stood out to me. I had never tried it. I'm really glad I did. And that's, had, yeah, that's the entry level Taylor. Really? Okay. What? There's and better it, ones. It and it, but to me, in my opinion, it's the most consistent. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, so they have the single barrel mm -hmm. each Taylor, and I can tell you that most times I prefer the small batch over the single barrel. Yeah, because there it's have solid been some, every yeah. time. Yeah, because I've had some bad single yeah. barrels. Yeah. yeah, there have been some single barrels I've liked better than the small batch, but I by got, and large, it's that more expensive small batch and way harder. Y'all yeah. 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 been doing this long enough? Do you, like do y'all have y'all been y'all been through the bad years of some of these whiskeys oh, yeah. y'all like? That's so, Definitely, yeah, so and they taste to a certain extent because it's like but we only like, taste what we instance, taste. Um, you know, for like, instance, like uh, Elijah Craig eighteen, I I probably have maybe four bottles of it. But they're single barrels. So out of the four barrels, one of them is outstanding. Yeah. Two are solid. It's, it's less consistent. And one of them it's, is it's single barrel. legitimately yeah. crap. Mm. Yeah. You know? That's the thing about uh, the small batches <laughs> yeah. versus single barrels is it's going to be a lot more consistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, your highs and lows are going to be more like average out. Uh, yeah. Stuff like so, that. So, okay. But, I so, mean, it, it breaks your heart when you pay, you know, almost 200 bucks yeah. and you get a yeah. bottle and it's yeah. legitimately it really crap. So, but okay. to finish, finish my final thoughts, I said my... Uh, worse and load. The best thing I liked about this episode is we really uh, gave some forethought into like figuring out the total value of these things yeah. based on uh, price, Packaging, versus flavor, yeah. your experience, your flavor, and all of that. And I hope to really like dispel some misconceptions about. Let me ask you this: What, what do you things. think about the wells? Um, <clears throat> you know, like I was saying, there's a purpose to these things too. Some of these are going to be sippers. Some of them are going to be on the rocks. Some of them are going to be mixers. And everything has its purpose. Mm. And um, some of these wells, like, I, ancient, I didn't like Ancient Age. I, I didn't like Kentucky Gentleman. I actually, okay. McCormick surprised me. I could I could it's actually okay. drink McCormick, like, on some ice. So those were all blended whiskeys. Mm -hmm. yeah. That benchmark yeah. that scored way benchmark higher benchmark is an actual the bourbon. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And then benchmark. I mean, it did. Yeah. It yeah. made yeah. a fucking eight tier. Bro. It's so cheap, and it's so it's a good whiskey. That's a good whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Benchmark's way up there because it, it, it's it has, the only yeah. plastic pla like like and these wouldn't be a plastic bottle, but this like, is the only it, plastic bottle. No, like there's no nostalgia or, no. or, or anything with it. it no, it's we it's put just it good. up against some there's solid bourbons, yeah. and it hung in it's there. It's nothing. Um, but that's just my two cents, uh, Paul. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, how about Pass your final thoughts? You, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, so <laughs> that that <laughs> that's my same feeling as these. These blended whiskeys, I wasn't the biggest fan of. <laughs> um, bourbons, yes. Uh, I, I've always been a fan of uh, Wild Turkey 101. They get to great value. Uh, the Early Times Bottle and Bond, I've Obviously, been an advocate right? for, yeah. uh, for Ooh, a while. Be so uh, ever since I tasted it, I was shocked. I think we even did a video that we never even uh, posted. But that early I'm times just gushing about early yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. She's like, oh my but god. That what? early times <laughs> bottle and bond, I mean it 
$25 for a liter is really when you start taking in value. And I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. glad that's the way we did things today. <clears throat> that's hard to beat. Yeah. H. Taylor Small Batch is also one of my to go-to recommendations for people. It's yeah. so it, good. It, for it's $40, so good. it really, like I said, most even E.H. Taylor single barrels, mm. they go for more. Yeah. I just go ahead and that's recommend a, the small good, batch. That's a good value, too. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of the single barrels I've had were not as good as the sm mm. small batch. So I, I'm i very pleased with this ranking. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. What was the one you hated the most? I, we already got you saying uh, that. Yeah, yeah you, we tipped uh, it over. Man, you these, yeah. these, those blended whiskeys were No, the 1835, you were like... You were the 18, one that was like, we really got to fuck ourselves starting with the shitty so, whiskey. So you know? Ancient like, Age, yeah. I probably thought was the least good as far as like I wanted to spit it out, but I didn't have like <laughs> a spittoon. Yeah, but exactly. then the same, the same distilleries right here too, yep. right? Exactly. Well, so crazy. blended whiskey though has yeah, yeah, unaged yeah. grain but it spirit. Has so basically, neutral spirits, vodka. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you blend that with vodka with neutral spirits. Yeah, yeah. you put have. shit in this bottle. Yeah. it's gonna taste like ancient. But Asia. it's like <laughs> as a native Texan, <laughs> yeah. it has always offended me. Yeah. yeah. That these guys more than anything. Now, I, I love that they lost that they lost because they were inauthentic. And, yes. and now, I love that. That's great. Yeah. To the now they I don't just support say that distilled in Kentucky, but yeah. I can tell you they didn't used to. Yeah. They didn't used to. Yeah. It, it it always said like Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Was, I can, I can to that's hard to forgive. I can, to I can respect Jedi that. Trick, I yes. can respect that, and because like you were so offended, it's dead last. Yeah, and we all agree. No, I think it's hanging off. Well, uh, and, you yeah, know, some great final um, thoughts. Uh, actually, now it's yeah. Now it's your time, yeah. Evan. Okay. What's, what's your final? Well, thoughts? No, I was going to say um, the 1835 kind of plays on on how uh, how dedicated Texans are. You know yeah. what I mean? To yeah. to anything with Texas on it, Texas they're like, oh, I'm all in. It's like if you're going to say Texas, you better mean you better bring it. Yeah, you know. But as far as uh, um, tastings, one interesting thing that I that I noticed was both of our S tiers were bottled and bond. Mm. Yeah, that is interesting. Yeah. So that is something yeah. to say about bottled and bond bourbons. I mean, the standards, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, there that there's something to bottled and bond. It's not just you know smoke and mirrors. Um, gift wise, <clears throat> man, it's a tough call. I, I, the Taylor wins because it looks cooler. You, really, you like that? Yeah, I really do. Like, I love the way the Taylor bottle looks. I like a tall and, it's classic. and it tastes yeah. and it tastes really good. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. really, I mean, like I would pay more for this, knowing I have less like bang for my buck because mm -hmm. it looks cool. And that, I and mean, that, straight up, like if I'm sharing, you know. Like, well, that's a time tested design too. That label yeah. has not changed in probably a hundred years, man. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's cool. And uh, uh, but what, what, what would your that, best gift be though? Yeah. If I was going to give, honestly, man. Yeah. Just, honestly. Yeah. If I was going to give any of these bottles to anybody, it would be a Blanton's because I okay, know yeah. how happy they would be. Right, to yeah, get right, right. Yeah, if you're able to get a Blanton's, yeah. it's it a gift like, value. If I'm going to yeah. give so what, what about if, they don't, if they're not a whiskey aficionado, it would so, be the Taylor's. Because yeah. somebody who doesn't wait, know shit will the, see this bottle and say, oh my God, no, what wait, is man. this? No, I would think, I, I would that think so that will from, just for From sure, experience, sure, I've given yeah. that Blanton's to non-whiskey people and they thought I gave them... packaging. The yeah, like gonna win. They, I think, I think they thought right. I gave yeah. them something. Oh, you're gonna see it in their house worth with dust more. On it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> because they're it. not a whiskey person. Yeah. They, if they they're a whiskey it, person, yeah. I would probably give them the freaking early times. Drink this. Yeah. Just drink it, dude. Just drink it. So, so, yeah. so, so you, I mean, yeah. So it depends on their level of experience. What about your what about your least favorite? Oh, um, least favorite is probably that ancient age. <laughs> that ancient it was, age. It tastes like sawdust. <laughs> yeah. It was terrible. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll tell you this, man. My The surprising... Yeah, what was your biggest upset, biggest surprise? Yeah. Benchmark, man. Yeah, dude. 100%. Benchmark. I'm 100%. so mad. I'm so mad at Jape. I'm so mad that I thought he was just bullshitting us. Ben, but, it really... but Benchmark, I mean, it was a Kentucky straight bourbon, so yeah. I can see... Yeah. Uh, yeah McCormick. It's not yeah. McCormick, man. I thought McCormick was going to be shit. I mean, and it, granted, it is still kind it of is shit. shit. It is shit. But, that's, that's why it's, but it was yeah, the best yeah. of the shit. That's why it's down there. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? But uh, honestly, the, the honestly, whole... man, I don't even think Seagram Seven should be above McCormick. You might be. Yeah, yeah let's put just it, change it. Drop it back. Just drop change it. Back. it. Yeah. yeah, drop it yeah. back. Drop it. Change it. McCormick in the bottom. Oh of shit! Yeah. Are we putting? No, it's no, a, it's no, a, no. It's still, still solid D tier. 
No, yeah, yeah it's, it, no, it deserves. Yeah, the thing no, about, the we thing don't about have a McCormick. Was, no, if I was a Jack Dan, if I'm giving yeah. a gift to a Jack Daniels fan, hands down, all day. Heritage Bear. Yeah. All if all if day. they're hardcore Jack Daniels, they, they, they have to be like all about. Like my mom would want that. That, she, yeah, they, so that all tastes about better Jack than the Sinatra, which was. My, it, it listen, cost my, more. my girl is yeah. like a huge Jack Daniels fan. She loves uh, Gentleman Jack, and I poured her some of this, and she was like, "Oh my God, what is that? It's delicious." Huh. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, and true back, Jack yeah. fans, they are gonna it. love this. I wish we would have had Gentleman Jack in here, just yeah. to see how, how, how it stands up. How it stands Let me up. tell you, as a it's cheaper as a than this OG one, right? it's Jack crappy. and Coke oh, yeah. person, really? I yeah. liked regular Jack and Coke More, better than yeah. uh, hmm. Gentleman Jack. And I think Coke. I, I remember liking Gentleman, Gentleman Jack. Gentleman Jack is a good gift though, too, because yeah, it's, it it's like it's not that much more expensive. It does usually come in a little better package, and it looks cool. Yeah, if people, if you could do Jack single barrel, though, was no object at all here, I'd probably pick the the Baker's 13. So if, out of all of these, if okay. price actually, just the liquids inside, inside. that's your favorite I, one? Yeah, okay. really? Baker's really? Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. I really like it. This man. is your favorite one out of the box. No, what's, what's, what's your favorite? I, just I like the oakiness, inside. man. I like yeah. the oakiness. I like dry bourbon. What's your favorite liquid inside of these? Nothing else matters. Favorite liquid? I mean, for me, it's between that and the decades. Okay. Really? Yeah. 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 I, You're picking the this is the middle of the pack. This out of the bottom everything of the on the, the shelf, shelf is, which is yeah. this one. Yeah, that's yeah, 150 yeah. bucks. Out of everything on the shelf, I'm taking the uh E.H. Taylor small batch or the Baker Seven. Baker yeah. Seven would probably been my third. I agree. Yeah. I, I think I think out of everything Same. in here, the liquid that I enjoyed the most tasting was Same. the E.H. Taylor. These two. The E.H. Taylor for sure. This this is my yeah. winner. Yeah. Uh the only the only reason this beats it out is because price, but like this is the <laughs> this is like this is first, second, third. I that's mean, awesome, that's man. The standing, and yeah. this only wins I, I mean, me. Okay, and that's can't, great to hear from. I can't really yeah. argue yeah. Yeah. too much. Well, I mean, yeah. that bat, yeah. I mean that that's no. that's the Z, the Z like, guys. You I know, can, it's I like, can't yeah. argue then, with I mean, how good those are. And then I just like, like I'm there's a, a reason. A there's a reason why we all love Wild Turkey. Um, honestly, we love. I love the decades. It was just so damn yeah. expensive. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, the Forcer was so similar to it. It was so similar to be so expensive. It was kind of like down there. No, I mean this. Doesn't stand a chance against the early time. Yeah, no, it's yeah, so it's come, so yeah. similar when you, when you and flavor into, profile, uh, availability, you know? yeah. and, price, and that's why oh. there's an old Forester product called 1920. It's a the Prohibition style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've often advocated that that was better than the uh, the old Forester birthday bourbon, mm. and yeah. just straight up on taste. I didn't like, really like not even on I didn't value. really like the like this tier right here. I just uh, wasn't that's your bag. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, here and up, like even some of these are questionable. Really, honestly, like all Dude, of these, honestly, I'd be man, happy. I'm with. surprised that Blanton's ranked so high. I was I was fixing this really? shit all over that bottle. Really? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I it's, like it. it's, it's not bad. how much hype it, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's yeah. a lot of but hype, I mean, it, but it's a yeah. solid. It, burden. There's a lot of hype, it's but it's, it meets it, it. at least meets the hype. When yeah. it when it was a fifty dollar bourbon, not, I always thought it. It's was not like cat shit coffee, and it's like it's all this hype about cat shit coffee. It's like it tastes like cat shit. Yeah, I always thought it was. It's called wild shit. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. And it's worth it because it's the smoothest, most non bitter, non acidic. Is it? Yeah, it what is. Kind of, they, are there special cats? Yes, actually. <clears throat> they are. They're wild civets. They eat the, the cherry. They eat the cherry Look pits. at the bottom. Um, You'll have the facts. And, uh, I'm not a coffee person. So. The, thing, the thing about it is I, uh, these wild civets, they eat, they eat the, the cherries. And uh, there's something about their guts that actually like uh, that strips out the oils in the, the yeah, coffee yeah, yeah. seeds. No, I, I've, I've heard of yeah. it. Is it better than chutney? No, no, no. There's no yeah, but it's well, uh, um, it's, it's very so it's the most bourbon. non bitter. I think we and, did it, guys. Yeah. All right, man. We fucking did it. This is the longest spirits episode <laughs> for it some was reason. Than Scotch? Yeah. The, oh yeah. No. Oh, way. But each oh, each geez. segment was at least forty five minutes. God. So Jesus. we're sitting at yeah, we're the sitting shortest at, one. We're sitting at like almost three and a half hours. Oh my god, this is gonna be a three, lot. Of three hours. No, nah, there's some heads and tails we're gonna cut off. It's not a big deal. Good. Hopefully, fine. we'll be fine. Listen, if you're this is great. honestly, this we'll is just the best say one watch yet, it and watch it in parts. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, watch it in parts. Yeah, maybe put it out in parts. Put it out in part yeah. one, yeah. part two, part Jerry three. Jerry clips and stuff. Like I have man. a hangover, like yeah. a hang, like a. Uh, it was a lot of booze, man. Yeah. Uh, well, but you know what? It had to be done. It yeah. had to be done Fuck like yeah. this too. This is great. No, yeah. I mean, I'm happy with all the decisions. I had a great time doing it. Uh, this is uh, I'm happy. It's a good yeah. time, you know, and. uh my face feels like Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, <laughs> fantastic. I feel warm and I feel right, like uh, uh, we're gonna go should to do a shot right? to close it out. Yeah, probably so. <gasps> shot of Taylor? Whatever yeah. you want. I still have Dealer's some. Dealer's choice. Uh, let's do let's do this one because it's cheaper. 
It doesn't uh, matter. Man. I still have the bakers. So how about you makeups? choose what you yeah. want? Okay, I'm going to take the Taylor. Everyone does a shot. I'll have one. Baker's 13 for me. I'm taking the Taylor. Hmm. What do you want? Ancient age? <laughs> That's what I want, bro. <laughs> That's what I want, dog. Somebody take um, that eighteen thirty. Like, look, take that eighteen thirty five and throw it in the take trash. Take it to the team. Give the, want, give the the give the trash a shot. I want this feeling yeah, again. Very cool one, my man. <laughs> Toasting. <laughs> um, and this, want, this, this is the shit. This shit, man. Well, Two look, people are doing tables. Okay. Look, look, this is. This. Oh, that's way too much. Here, Ooh. let me pour some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me, yeah. give me half of this. Swing it for the fences. Uh, this is the last cheer of. No, give me more. Come on, hat, split that. This is the last cheer of uh, Gulf Coast uh, Spirit Society and A to Z Movie Night. This is the last cheer of the year. Aaron, come on. Aaron, come on. Um, Mom, um, see y'all next year. Uh, this is coming out before Christmas. So Merry, 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 Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Cheers. Summer. Um, here's the good liquids. Hell yeah. Mm. Oh, dude, that's delicious. All right. Ooh. Did you drink that thirteen year? Hell yeah! yeah. Um, so you so you drink a mix of seven and thirteen. We can we can continue oh, this good, discussion into very the good. group. Facebook is uh, Gulf Coast Spirit Society. Yep. And yeah. uh, there's no other, there's that's where it's at. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, man. Like uh, you get in that group, it's free to join. You don't have to like yeah. answer all these bullshit questions to get added. All you got to ask. All you the only question <laughs> you have to answer is what is your favorite spirit type. All right, that's it. That's, that's it. it. It's real easy. Uh, get in there. It's a very engaged group. Yeah, uh, like, like Aaron said at the beginning, like there's, there's no pretension. Every, there's no pretentious yeah. at all. Like if you're if down. you're just learning, you know, like they'll help you out. Ask if, questions. You know, ask questions. All yeah. Day. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty. No long. one's gonna no one's gonna shit on you because you're like saying that you're drinking wild turkey because it's cheap. It doesn't yeah. matter. It's it's you know? up here, dude. We just um, yeah. laid it out, man. I mean, benchmark yeah. is in fucking benchmark. Yeah, benchmark yeah. kicked me so A tier. Yeah, that, <laughs> that really hell? opened. Yeah, yeah, and I was, uh, I was surprised. Also, sure. too, also too, we plan on doing a, uh, uh, we plan on doing like a tier list with these guys. A collaborative. I think, I think uh, I'm gonna make this into a tier list. We probably yeah. could, but you could do it. We're gonna you keep doing some it. tier lists. Yeah, for and sure. we need we need some we'll ideas from one. you guys too. So uh, maybe in the comments of we where we put this. We might make this a continuous thing. Maybe every time um, we do this, we have a tier list at the end of it. Cool. Uh, maybe so. Who knows. We'll yeah. see. Yeah, so anyone from the group, man, if there's anything in particular you want to see. Yeah, suggest uh, us. Yeah. yeah, yeah we'll suggest this, us. These are mostly for the group anyway. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. like, if y'all like this and y'all want us to keep so, doing it. And... March, we're going to do a... Uh, probably an Irish whiskey. Irish whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, and then Cinco de Mayo, we'll do tequila. Tequila. Yeah. And then, uh, and then from there we'll figure out. Those are, that's their two solid plans right now. We know that those are going to happen. So we might we'll even do a we might even do like a beard tier list and fuck oh, y'all yeah. up. That'll be kind of fun. Yeah. Hey, let's go. He just uh, yeah okay. Yeah, I well, just got um, into beer. Let's, let's just yeah. call it, guys. Uh, right. Thank y'all for coming it, back. Yeah, appreciate you, you guys. Yeah. Uh, this is the three Pete man. We did it. Uh, and uh, yeah, <laughs> bye. Bye. Later. <laughs>Doug Waldrop, Michael Sarr, Ben McClellan, Randy Edwards, Ali Gillette, Allison Pierce, Lauren Bebo, Ali B, and our newest patron, Wes Harden. Uh, it's growing. It really is. It it amazes me every time a new name is added to this. It's mm -hmm. it's, it's I'm starting to run out of breath. Uh, especially with Christmas this is a Christmas episode. It feels Thank good. Thank you guys. Like this is y'all's gift feels to good, us. Man. It yeah. really does. Uh, you guys see value in us. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I don't even know why, but thank I mean, you just, guys. Just the yeah. five dollars a month from each of these people just means it yeah, means it, it means more like personally than anything. And it really helps know. us out. It helps us grow. We're getting better equipment. If you mm. remember from like if you're watching this instead of listening to it, mm. we have much better video quality, better oh, audio yeah. quality when you're already and that's thanks to these guys. So if you want to join their ranks, uh, head on over to patreon.com forward slash A to Z B M T where you can pledge a dollar. Uh, once you can pledge whatever amount you want reoccurring it's up to you you know what I mean uh, join the fun we'll have yeah. uh, we'll probably next year we're gonna start actually pushing out bonus content so for sure you might be in the loop for some cool stuff if you join up uh, so 
We have a lot more content than usual for you this week, uh, so stay tuned for sure. Keep watching our social medias, watching our pages and everything like that because uh, we have a special movie night coming to you for Christmas Eve. We have another uh, Christmas It's a Christmas episode. special, yes. Yeah. It's our A to Z movie night Christmas special. And you'll special, probably yeah. never guess what the movie's going to be. <laughs> and then Christmas Day, we'll have kind of a... we got kind of a gift episode for you. Um, it's going to be... It's going to be a little different than what we normally do. But some, I think, some we didn't secret. Yeah, we didn't see. Well, kind of secret. Kind of secret. Social media is weird like that. Yeah. And then we, but we also have another one coming to you on New Year's Day. So that's yeah, that's four episodes in less than hey, a week. Hey, like, we're, we're finishing the year with a big bang. Yeah, uh, we're doing it for you guys, like we always do. Mm-hmm. A to Z is always free. You know what I mean? Every day is Christmas for y'all. Not tuning our own horns, but uh, uh, you know we, we do uh, it for y'all. So, like you said, stay tuned. Going to be a lot of stuff coming at you. Uh, remember, always the thing that helps us the most is. Uh, sharing, liking, and subscribing. Like, tell your friends, tell your family. Uh, we live on social media, but really, I think how this is spreading is just word of mouth. Mm-hmm. People telling their coworkers and all that stuff. So just keep it up, you guys. Let's grow. 2020 uh, is coming. Mm-hmm. 2019 was a big year for us. Mm-hmm. Let's make 2020 huge. We're gonna we're gonna do big stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's it.